Hello YouTube, how are you guys doing? We're playing Hollow Cocoon today, which came out a week ago or something. We played the demo a really long time ago, and the demo was amazing. Graphics absolutely top-notch, and it was just getting super mysterious and creepy, and then boom, the demo ended. So here we are, uh, ready back for more to see the full game release. Uh, and see what it's all about. We're also playing another game afterwards if we have more time, but I think we're just gonna hop in straight away uh, and say hi YouTube. So we're gonna do triple quadruple hi YouTube here Just saying hi YouTube uh, to the main channel when we end up uploading the edited version of this one You're currently watching the live streamed version of it if you're either watching this live or the VOD after the fact Let's go say hi Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Hollow Cocoon. If you remember, we played the demo for this game a really long time ago, and the demo was absolutely amazing. The graphics here are top notch, and the story was just getting creepy, and then boom, it ended. So we are back for more to see what it's all about. Now, as you can see, it's gonna be a beefy experience, quite a long, long one, and I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game, let's go. Alrighty, here we go, baby, new game. Is it loud enough? It sounds kind of quiet, but I'm also scared to turn it off. Um, oh yeah, chickens. We need to make sure not to kick the chickens. We will do normal. Let's not go too crazy. Oh, baby. Oh, knock, knock. Minato-kun. Jinba. Minato-kun. Jinba? Remember who you are, Simba? Eiji-san kara denwa ga haitte imasu yo. Deco, Deco, thank you for the five gift subs. What's going on? This game looks so good. There's something so creepy about Japanese horror oh, games for some reason. Good voice <sighs> いったい何事なんだよ。キヌさんが。お前のお母さんが倒れたと診療所から連絡があった。私も仕事で知らせを受けるのが遅れてしまったんだ。Let <laughs> おれの知ったことじゃない。ミナト。お前がキヌさんをよく思っていないことは承知だ。ユイの葬式の一件もあって、私も10年以上疎遠にしていた。だが、キヌさんにはもう親族はお前と私だけだ。ましてや、血の
Japan, the trains, don't you get like money back or something? Or is that like, uh, maybe I heard that wrong. Don't you get money back if your train was late or something? Like you get a reverse fine. Holy shit, look at this place. It's so pretty. The sun is going under. It's the golden hour. Let's see, what do we got? Itchy, itchy nose? <laughs> itchy nose bus stop. <laughs> Good thing this bus stop is here. Otherwise, I'd walk the whole way. You do? Actually, is that actually a thing? That wasn't the thing? Okay, I guess I just, I guess it's just one of those, like, stories people tell that aren't actually true. Dude, look at all these details, though. I'm gonna have to quickly lower the sensitivity, though, because it is insanely sensitive. Now sensitivity, burp. And I'm also going to turn up the voice volume as well as the master volume slightly. Because that was also kind of quiet. Why every time I change the settings, it all tabs my game. Man, that's cool. I'm going back here. Oh, no. I remember one thing about this game. And it's going to be a total disaster. And I'm guessing this. Yep, right here. The fucking coins, dude. There was this damn pinball game and i was probably the worst person to ever play the pinball game and it drove me absolutely insane I, don't, I never beat it so i have no idea what happens when you do uh but we're gonna lose our mind about it oh this thing right here this freaking demon that's the scariest part of this game all right we're gonna try it so th <laughs> this fucking shit it's a game where you flick a 10 yen coin into the goal maybe i'll give it a shot how do we do this again okay we insert coin and then we, how do I, I can shake the thing as well, flick the lever like this, oh I see. Okay, so I just go fast, yeah. I don't want to go there, I want to go like halfway. Okay, at least I can click quite a bit. This is the, this is the game by the way, if you're confused. We're gonna play two hours of this. Come on. Don't go too far. There. Okay, now I need to do like a perfect. How do I get into the goal, dude? Okay, maybe I'm gonna do this first try, who knows? I'm like increasing it slightly every tick. There's just so much randomness involved as well. How is it not... I got in green! Wait! I did a teleport! Wait, I'm insane? Wait, 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 wait. No! Dude, that's impossible! I almost fucking did it! <laughs> no way! Are you kidding me? I should have shaken the thing. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe we can do this after all. Maybe they saw my video and they were like, Oh my god, we need to make this easier. These people are gonna lose their mind. They're not even gonna play the rest of the game. And they get this mad. No! Alright, there goes my last coin. Ripperoni. Hey, that was pretty good though. I'm gonna- I'm gonna call that a victory and move on and never look at that again. Um, it's pretty out here, man. Because I wish I could read any of this. I don't know what that says. Oh no, there's another coin, god damn it. Such a neat place. Right, I'm gonna run, I think the house over here. Where does this go though? Look at these trees! This isn't, okay, sorry. I'm so, I got lost. <laughs> there's the poster again. What does this say? This is area, this area, including Itchy Nose Village, is planned to be a damn construction site. I cannot see that. Do you just say itchy nose? Because if so, that is a funny name for your village. Itchy, the itchy nose village. Post. I'm not gonna steal it. She itchy nose say. Itchy nose say. That's how you say it. Dude, why have these people got these coins laying all around? I'm making money. I don't know how much 10 yen is. Probably not too much. I don't know. I always see large numbers when it comes to yen. But I'm getting rich, dude. Hello, Crows. You guys fly away. Hello. Miyama Family Grave. 100 is $1. So it's 10 cents. Wait, so it is exactly the same? So wait, 1 yen is 1 cent? Right. Oh, sorry, I skipped that. Oh, wait, that's actually... I don't know, I shouldn't steal that! I'm a freaking grave robber, dude! I shouldn't have clicked that. I'm gonna get bad karma for stealing the coins from the literal grave of my family, dude. Are you kidding? I'm gonna get the bad ending. 
You stole the money. I did it anyway, dude. I'm cursed for life. <laughs> no one saw that. Miyama. Okay, that's our house. Here we go. <laughs> I'm cursed. The monster in this one looks spooky as hell, by the way. Finders keepers. Alrighty. Uh, let me... I think I haven't joined the Discord. Yeah, there we go. Whoops, sorry. Is that the only thing I missed? I think I'm fine. Dishonor to the family. Whoopsie daisy. Um, I'm gonna... Can I go in through the main door? Do I... I have the key, right? Dad gave me the key. Use key item. When examining specific... Examining specific objects, your inventory will be shown. By selecting the key item from the list, certain actions can be performed, such as unlocking a door. The key item will be consumed. I will... Con Wait, I have two keys. I have grandma's key, and I have an entrance key. I'll use the entrance key. I can only open one door. Alrighty. <sighs> How have you not rested in over 24 hours? Uh, is it- that's like a thing. Are you a type A or a type B? Can you sleep in vehicles or are you one of those people that just cannot sleep in vehicles at all? As soon as you put me in a car, I fall asleep instantly. I cannot drive- <laughs> I mean, I can't drive and stay awake. But if I'm a passenger, I'm fucking nodding off immediately. Order some Samagan, write the number down, and keep it under the telephone table. You cannot sleep at all. Dude, I, the, the feeling of sleeping in an airplane is, like, the best feeling of all time. I mean, maybe not. It's like you wake up, and you're still in a dream. It's like, what the hell is going on, dude? It's it's so funny. Uh, write the number down and keep it under the telephone table. Okay. So, under the telephone table? I can open files, I see. Samagan, grandma's painkiller, used to restore HP and stamina... Oh god. We're gonna be attacked. What the hell is that angry boy? Use healing item. I'm not gonna use that right now. There's more. I'm collecting all the heals. Okay, so we're gonna be chased by a monster later. This is gonna turn into granny. Uh, no need to switch it on. Uh, that's my flashlight. There's a flashlight. Let me guess. You're gonna say, I don't need it right now. And then later on, when we're fucking being chased by a monster, you're gonna be like, Oh, I should really have had a flashlight. I hate when horror games do that, when they don't let you pick up shit before you need it. And then later on, they're like, oh, I really need a flashlight. Yeah, if only you fucking thought like two steps ahead, you dummy. Old picture number one. What am I looking at? Wait, that is the monster. I think it's the back of like a, like a, an oni, a demon. Can I save here? It's an altar. Should I light incense now that I'm here? Sure. Dude, I got magic hands. That's not an incense, it's a candle. I guess I'm doing everything. Oh, we used it. We're so smart. I'm stupid. <laughs> the hell? That's a nice sound. Excuse me? Oh, Monosidi, How do you fall into a well? Nakunata Koto, Musumino Kasani Say Shirasinakata. Jeechanga Sindato Shitekara. Kasan wa Hidoku Sagikomio ni natte. Sore de Kasan. Maybe it wasn't an accident. <laughs> Maybe it was on purpose. Okay, so Grandpa fell into a well. Grandma didn't tell anyone. And then when we found out, we were sad, of course. Oh, I'm finding more coins. That means I have to play the damn game again at some point. Okay. Wait, is there another? Are these light switches I can't click yet. I love these architecture, man. When I was in Thailand, Thailand uh, the, the thing that I found super cool is like every house has like this little like altar it's like this little tiny house 
are a little tiny. It's a little double up, but it's a, it's a tiny house, and it's like because uh, they have like a faith that like strongly believes in like ancestors that watch over you. So like every day they'll put little offerings on the on the in the in the house. And it's like for their for their like ancestors and grandparents. So every single house just has one of those little little houses. They're like super super decorated. They look out very pretty. You saw those like hanging outside everywhere. Kind of cool. Ooh, kitchen. Why? What the frick? You have a whole chicken in the in the damn fridge. <laughs> Didn't even pluck it or anything. Just put it in there wholesale. <laughs> really fresh chicken. Who even did that? Didn't the grandma? I mean, I guess maybe the grandma put it in there before she went to the hospital. And then it's been there for a while. Why do I keep getting so thirsty? Said every person. Uh, burn dead. Ch what are we doing? Grandmother's daily schedule. Wake up, breakfast, feed chickens, prepare breakfast, breakfast, makeup, laundry cleaning, lunch, gardening seems normal. Did you plan out your day so meth methodically? I just work, and that's like my whole day. <laughs> Don't need a schedule when you're just working all the time. Um, I guess I'll go outside. Oh, I remember there's chickens. We got chickens. I am sorry. I will do this once. To show you, and then I will not do it again. Maybe I'll do it again, but I have to show you. Look what happens when you walk into this chicken. <laughs> That's so fucked up, dude. Why did they make that a game mechanic? That's fucked up, dude. Oh, we're getting an egg. Egg. Eat to permanently raise defense slightly. It's still war- wait. An upgrade? Egg upgrade. Wait, inventory. In the inventory section of the menu screen, view items and Minato's current HP. Certain items, like Simagen, which replenish stamina and HP, can also be used directly from the inventory. Wait, I can eat an egg? Eat egg right now, CJ will be proud. I eat it. Dude, <laughs> Dude that's a great egg, apparently. He sounded so excited. I think we need to get this guy away from the chickens. He, he can't control himself. Dude, what is that? Is that a dead chicken? The fuck did- What the hell happened here, dude? Oh my god! Uh, a poker and dead chickens are scattered about. Feels bad, man? Why are they dead? Some coyote or whatever, some animal got them? That's- that feels bad, man. It's so pretty out here. Uh, is there even another entrance? I think I have to go back. I'm gonna leave you guys alone and not kick you anymore. This is the well. Yep. Grandpa died by falling into this well. It was apparently an accident. Apparently, huh? I don't think I believe you. That's why they put the things on there. So no one else falls in. It's on the schedule. Burn dead chickens. That seems... If that's on your schedule daily, how many fucking chickens are you breeding if you burn chickens every single day? That seems... Seems like something's wrong. I can get some rest here. What's this? Dear Dad, how are you doing? The other day, my husband, IG, and I attended Minato's cer entrance ceremony under the warm spring sunshine, watching him walk with that big backpack. I couldn't help but feel proud of our son. IG was teasing Minato, saying he looks like a giant backpack with legs, to which I couldn't help but smile, too. He always makes us laugh with his jokes. Uh, as for me, I'm still the same as I always was. I feel a little better after drinking water. I still can't bring myself to tell IG about my situation. It tugs at my heart. I wonder how long I can keep this a secret. I've spent many sleepless nights worrying, afraid of what'll happen if he finds out. How is mom doing, by the way? There are times when Minato brings me to see his grandma, and I struggle to find the right words to say. I don't think she'll be very happy if we come to see- I don't think she'll be very happy if we come to see her. Why does mom dislike me so much? It breaks my heart to think that the rest of my family is being shunned because of me. If only I had the courage to confront mom about this. I'm sorry for constantly venting to you. I know I shouldn't worry you, but I'm a coward who quickly relies on her father. Whenever I hear your voice or read your letters, it gives me peace of mind. I'll write again soon. Please take care of yourself and stay safe. Yui Jinba, which is... See? Feels bad, man. 
Watashi no shoubun. My situation. AG. Didn't I say that correctly? Are you supposed to be talking? You are terrifying, lady. Fucking <laughs> stare me straight into the soul, dude. <laughs> Smiley face. Just a weather report. <laughs> She's actually a puppet. Where's this going? Just a weather report? Just some immersion? Okay. This is going to be on the test, guys. You better pay attention. We will have to remember this is going to be a puzzle solution. I don't think so. Itchy Nose TV's special studio. Oh, here we go. Wait, is this... That's it? Just the weather report? It's just looping the weather report? Oh my god, what is this? The UFO? This is freaking cursed, dude. <laughs> What the hell are these aliens? <laughs> Excuse me? A cold monthly. Okay, I'm not watching that. Okay, that's it. Drive. What the hell is this? What is this like Bollywood music in the background? <laughs> what the fuck? This is some cursed television. Scary stories you don't know. Me when I upload a YouTube video. Hey, you gotta you gotta get the intro rolling faster. The zoomers will click off the video. You gotta have more energy. Monaco? What the fuck is this? Oh, this this doll is gonna haunt you for life. Uh oh. Excuse me. <laughs> oh no, she's coming closer. <laughs> yeah. Don't you finish the story? What? You're gonna end it there, you piece of. Oh. What the fuck? Uh, red means scary, you know the rules. What did the kid ever do? She just got a doll. It's not her fault. Okay, then. She fucking died. The end? Is that it? <laughs> Excuse me? Okay. Alright, I'm turning off the TV. That's enough TV for us. That's why I don't watch television. I don't think I've watched TV since fucking forever. Should I rest until the night? Yes, sure. Um, stay up. Is there anything more to explore? Also, I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit more. Just because that was a little quiet. <clears throat> Here we go. Turn on alt tab again. Okay. Let's, let's quickly check. Ooh, look at that. So beautiful out here. Is there any more room? There's another room. I haven't checked this room yet. I'm going to get more unlockables. Dear Minato, Saichi's response to Minato as a child. Dear Minato, thank you for the letter. I was so surprised to see you wrote it all by yourself. You did a great job. Grandpa appreciates it. So your mom won't buy you a bug collection kit, eh? I kn you know, when I was young, I used to collect butterflies too, but someone once told me to, to, not, hurt, not, to, to not hurt them. 
That's when I decided to stop catching butterflies. Instead, I decided to just watch them as they live and allow them to stay a part of the beauty of nature. I can't buy you a bug collection kit, but how about this? When summer comes, I'll take you to a place where there are plenty of butterflies and dragonflies. Grandma is busy with housework, so she can't come along, but let's have lots of fun together, just you and Grandpa. Whenever we have to say goodbye, it always makes me feel a little sad. But before you go, I'll give you a good pat on the head and whisper a little magic spell to keep you happy until the next time we meet. I'll miss you, but I have to help Grandma with some things. So please be good and do as you're told. I promise I'll come to see you in the summer, Grandpa. See you too. Someone watch it? Walk it? Oh, he never got the letter. Oh, he fucking died. Who hurts butterflies? Isn't it? Aren't butterflies' wings, like, super, super delicate? So if you just, like, touch them, they'll fucking die? The dresser drawer is locked. Oh my god, what the fuck? I can hide? Oh, that's gonna be bad. That means I'm gonna have to... Freaking run from a monster later. Any more rooms? There's a toilet with a standing toilet in your own house. Oh, and a freaking squad toilet. And heal potions next to the pooper. That doesn't seem right. Oh, man. Let me guess this door's gonna be closed. It's gonna. Yep, yeah, there's a. Do we have the special key, though? This is a dial lock. Okay, we're gonna need something. Let's just rest until the night. We've already explored quite a bit, right? Uh, unless there is... Oh, never mind. There's a tiny room here. What the hell is this? Oh, God. Hello. There's another freaking coin. This is saving? It's a creepy talisman? Yeah, voiceover is good. Oh, save points. Here we go. Wait, what? The red talisman on the wall is a save point. Is there going to be like a special ending if you never save the game? Probably. Because this, it seems to indicate that this is actually bad. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to save, obviously, because if we die a single time, we're fucked. Oh, no, not more coins. Dude, I have so many heals. I can just get hit over and over again. What is there? Something in the... There's something down the drain. Let me guess. We're going to grab the poker later, and then we're going to get it out of the drain. If only we could do that now. I think we're going to have to trigger the night cutscene before we can do all those things. Wait, can we rest here? I should rest here. Yes, rest until the night. Is it 10 yen? Yeah, I'm, I'm freaking getting rich one coin at a time. What the fuck? Oh, those are, um... Because the game is called Hollow Cocoon, right? Those are like silkworms. They look terrifying. Honestly, worms are... Like, if you look at the face of a worm, they're damn terrifying. They're like spider mouths. それは何これはお蚕様だよ。お蚕様はね、それは大事に大事に育てる。温かい部屋でお腹いっぱい食わぬ葉を食べさせてあげるのよ。そうして綺麗な眉を作ったら、茹でて殺して糸を取る。O
fornicate. Oh my god. You can help me! Uh, she got damn. Oh my god, that's a lot of blood. She got freaking splashed, dude. She, I was in the splash zone. Oh my god, Jesus! <laughs> Hi there. I don't remember that at all. This is like, I think we saw the monster after this, and then from that point onwards, I know nothing. So mysterious. So we saw her die? Are we... Can we watch TV again? Is it gonna be the same? Wait, new? Oh, it's the same thing again. Drive. I just wanted to check if there's gonna be anything else. Okay, turn on some lights, because I can't see shit. If only you grabbed that flashlight from before, you know? That would be so useful. Right, click the light switches. There was a- now I can- Oh. There's a banging at the door. From the entrance. Hello? Is there a light switcher? There's a, no, that's a light switch. That's freaking doors! Can't see because it's dark as hell. There we go. I'm turning all the lights. Dad? Uh, there's a freaking dead chicken. Insanely rude. Is that the exact same chicken from Chicken Feet? You know that like meme chicken game? I think it actually is. <laughs> oh, we got a letter. I'm gonna pick up the phone first though. もしもし。港。私だ。なんだ。父さんか。今どこ何時頃こっちに着く。ああ、そのことなんだが。今夜は帰れそうもない。今店員先の病院からかけているんだが。どうにも厄介なことになってきた。先ほどまで警察と話を
it's a ghost. It's the ghost of grandma. Can you freaking turn off the tap when you like finish pouring your water, you waster? You water waster? It was a coil head. Gonna come get me. Uh, I really want to see if I can pick up the flashlight, but let's first go outside. What's the worst that could happen? Someone there? Oh god, I'm in a cutscene. Oh my god, hello. <laughs> that's a guy, that's a monster from the picture. They're eating the damn chickens. That's a large chicken right there. Uh, put on some clothes, please. You are tall. <laughs> or chickens. What? <laughs> Off the damn power. I gotta find the light and call for help. Okay, so now we need to find our damn flashlight. Running from enemies, Minato cannot defend himself. It is crucial to avoid detection at all costs. Running is faster than walking, so though be wary that it consumes stamina on some difficulties. If Minato runs out of stamina, he will be unable to run for a period of time. While crouching, Minato gets into, low, in a, into a lower position, reducing the sound of footsteps while moving. Making it harder for enemies to hear him. If an enemy finds Minato, Minato must run and hide. Minato can enter some places such as closets to hide from enemies. A special icon will indicate objects Minato can hide in. Uh, use lean. Oh no, lean. And look back to check your surroundings. I never use lean. I'm a lean. The only game I think I've ever used lean in seriously was ready or not. Um... I don't remember where the light was. Look back? Oh, you can look behind you with a button. Um, wasn't it through here? It was at the end of this hall. Oh, God, I can see shit, man. I think it was past the phone on a chair here, if I remember correctly. Oh, shit. Ah! Oh, my God. What the fuck am I doing? Help! Oh my god, he's, you're, you're crazy! I'm dead. I'm dead as fuck. I'm dead as hell. I can't fucking run, man. I didn't realize you could go through here. Why you got so many fucking doors at your house? Help! Help! Oh my god, you're right behind me! You are healing item. I can't see shit, man! Okay, okay. I'm going outside. I'm, I'm looping. I'm looping. Close the door. Oh, they open the door immediately. Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, isn't there a way to go here? I can't see. I'm crouching. That actually worked. Run. Oh no, they're coming around. They're going around. Did that actually work? Ah! The fuck is going on, dude? Where am I supposed to go? There was a hiding spot here. Hide in the hiding spot. Yes. Okay. You didn't see me, right? Uh oh. Oh no. No, 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 no. I can see your ass. Thank you for standing in the exact spot where I can see you. Okay. Dude, that was... I'm looking respectfully. Okay. <laughs> we did it. Dude, that was fucked up, man. I was crouching and everything. I need to get to the light. Okay. I'm crouching. Okay. So we have a hiding spot. Gotta be very careful. That outside? The monster? No, oh, that's just I'm trying to make it to the damn flashlight, even though that's gonna attract more attention though. Is that grandma? That was awkward. I know it's this way. They can just all the walls can be opened here. I hope they went outside, otherwise I'm in trouble. Because I gotta go this way. I need a call for help as well. I could call for help here, but I want the light as soon as possible. I have so many healing items, right? I should be okay. There's the light. Give it to me. 
If only you grabbed this earlier, you know? Okay, we got a flashlight. Using flashlights. Flashes will provide visibility in the dark. However, using a flashlight will make it more likely you are detected by enemies. Sometimes it is better. Turn it off. Alright, we got a flashlight now, though. Now we need to call for help. Sleep until daytime. Can't sleep. There's monsters nearby. You've played Minecraft before. You know the rules. Uh, I don't know the number. Oh, one. Okay. One. One. Zero. And he, ev all the zoomers be like, how do I use this thing? What is this phone? Oh my god! Oh, uh, recipes. Jesus Christ, run. What the fuck, dude? What do you mean? Oh god, oh god, I gotta go to the hiding spot. Oh, I could hide there. I know there's a hiding spot right here. Is this even gonna work? There's, they're right behind me. Same hiding spot twice, baby. Let me guess, they're gonna stand in the exact same spot. No? She's kinda cute, you're fucked up. You got problems. <laughs> you need help. You need Jesus. Okay, uh, what the hell is our objective now? You can light your way, but it also makes you detect- Okay, so we are in a good spot. There's so many notes to find. Be careful. We just leave? I have a special key. What is this? Oh, wait here. The dresser is locked. Use the grandma key. An old key. Okay, that doesn't work. I, I need a different key. There was a phone number somewhere, right? Under the telephone thingy? Was it? Oh my god, more coins. I don't need more coins. The, the, the monster will totally see me. I'm gonna go back. I probably need to call a different number. I would also love to save the game, which is over here. If I can. I don't know if the monster's like randomly roaming around. Save the game. Let's go. We haven't died yet. Always create a new save. So that if you get soft locked, you'll be okay. okay. I'm gonna go to the phone just to see what he says. He's gonna be like, I can't call. Or we could leave as well. Because I remember reading something that there was a number at the telephone table. What is this? Oh, is that the picture? Oh, that's mom? Camera zoom. Okay. No one here, it seems. Is this all in my- am I dreaming? Oh, there it is. This is what I was talking about. Yes, this is an important number. Please don't forget it. It looks like a number was written here, but it's been ripped out. There are faint marks on the paper. Oh, we need the... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I know, the... I know what we're doing here. Uh, we're grabbing a pencil, and then we're gonna scratch it so that we get the number. But first of all, uh, I'm assuming now we are free to actually pick up stuff and, and everything. So I want to go outside to grab the poke, so we... or the poker... So we can use the poker on the bathtub drain, remember that? Because there was something in there that's probably going to be a key to the drawer. And then the drawer is going to have the pencil, and then the pencil is going to be to get the number, and then the number is going to lead us to safety. I'm, I'm a freaking genius. I got it all planned out. I don't know where this monster is, though. Can I just run? I'm just going to run. <gasps> Oh, no. No! I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab it. I don't give a shit. Go eat ass. Eat booty. Pick it up. Get it. I picked it up. Hello. Ah! You didn't even hit me. Get shit on, dude. Speed run. Turn off your light. Uh, I'm totally gonna be found. Go to the fucking hiding spot. Okay, easy peasy. You didn't see that, right? You can't drag me out of my hiding spot. Get freaking looped. Okay, so we got. <laughs> I love that they always stand there. <laughs> oh no, they're actually checking it. Uh oh. 
Okay, we're fine. Are we fine? You walk away. Suga, thank you for the sub. I am here yet again. <laughs> That's me in this hiding spot right here. Okay, so you're gonna go outside again. So now we have that. I don't remember exactly where the bathroom was. I think it was actually to this side, wasn't it? You're going back outside to eat more chickens? I think so. Yes. With the slippers. Oh, this is not the bathroom. This is the pooper, dude. Very different. And that's the creepy door. Okay, so we're not running here. So that's the pooper. That's not where I want to be. I want to walk a little bit. Oh, God. Okay, they're outside. But they're totally far away from me. So they cannot detect me. <gasps> ah, fuck. <laughs> this is saw me immediately. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Excuse me? <laughs> you piece of crap. I didn't turn on- I shouldn't have turned on my flashlight, man. I should have just been crouching. Okay, can you just chill outside, please? They're like, camping my- my hiding spot, dude. You just walk- yeah, I walk. I did- I'm in there right there. I'm crouching. I'm a crouchy boy. You can't find me. I'm totally sneaky. Oh god, they're outside. Are they outside? Dude, this is actually fucking creepy, dude. I think the bathroom was this way. Right? Was it? There, this way. Right? Bathroom? You're not camping in the bathroom, right? That would be insanely rude. We found it. Okay, don't turn on your flashlight. Go into the tiniest bathroom of all time, and then we use the poker. Boom. To get the key. Um, it's all working out. Yes. And then with that key, we can get out of this fucking bathtub. I cannot. Here we go. Go and go back to the drawer. They're right outside this fucking window, dude. I'm sorry it's so dark, but I'm not- I don't have a flashlight, because otherwise I get found. Because they're right outside this window. They are at least going back there every time. I thought it was in the room with the hiding spot. So I'm just gonna go there. Let's see them. Oh, that is them! Oh no, that's them. They're outside. Alright, close this. There's a drawer here with a lock on it, which I assume this key works. I'm a genius. And then there's gonna have a pencil. He's actually crazy. He called it from the- This was not in the demo, by the way. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a very hard call, but absolutely called it. Okay, do not turn on your flashlight. Where did they go? And now we scratch the number. And then we call it. I've played too many horror games, you might say. You're behind there, that's fine. You should really close some doors, right? So I, like, break line of sight. Go like this here. There we go. Because they saw me through this before. So if I just close this, a little safer. And now we scratch the number. Yes. Dude, he's insane with it. Use lean. Yeah, I gotta use lean. It would make such a difference. 9921. That's the whole number? Oh, that's the code to the door! Okay, I didn't call that part. Okay, so we go back to here. Okay, we can walk, right? Ah! We can't walk! Why did I even... Help, 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 help. I'm gonna fucking hide. No, I closed the door of my face! This is not even... Okay. Oh, Jesus Christmas. Can I use a healing pill in here? Yes, I can. Okay, that was fucking stupid. Dude, how is this monster always exactly where <laughs> I need to be? Don't come in here. Don't look. I'm not hiding here, I promise. 
Okay, we just need to go to the right. So if you walk to the left, I am totally fine. Okay, they're walking to the left. Perfect. I'm just gonna crouch. We're gonna take it slow. They cannot hear me. I mean, they probably can. Yes. I can even turn on my flashlight because they're not here at all. At least they don't have batteries. I don't think so. And then at the end of this, so do not run. Okay, I mean, th there's no fucking way, right? She's not here at all unless you're going to be, like, on the outside of this. What the fuck? Does this lead to, like, fucking nether realms? What's this damn hallway here? 9921, right? 9... Nine, two, one. Select. It's insane. Okay. What's in the room? The spooky room? Uh oh. That's, this is why they made the hallway so long. <laughs> so that they could have this monster slowly walk up to you. I appreciate it. Close the door. You're gonna break the vase. No! Uh -oh. And let me guess, they're instantly gonna give up. Let's go. We're safe. Not the face. I broke everything, dude. They're gonna be so mad when they come back from the afterlife. Oh, it didn't even break. Never mind. Ooh. That is a whole different style. That's neat. I like that. What do we got? Letter. To Mrs. Kinu Miyama. I am writing to inform you about the results of your examination at our clinic. Based on the diagnostic images obtained from the x-ray, we've identified an abnormality in your cranial region. It appears to be a brain tumor. The symptoms ha you have been experiencing, such as your headaches and severe forgetfulness, are likely related to this tumor. Wait, just being forgetful? That's, that's me every day. It is important to address this condition promptly. The tumor requires quick and immediate treatment. It is important to know that your memory may continue to deteriorate, and the painkillers you have been taking will only provide, provide limited relief. I strongly advise you to discuss this matter, matter with your family and make arrangements to visit our clinic as soon as possible. Okay. Uh, I now know what the condition was they were talking about. Batman. Cool. Kill them, though. Dear Yui, thank you for your letter. Kino and I are doing just fine. So Minato has entered elementary school, eh? My, my, how time flies. It feels like just yesterday he was a baby. I can't help but think... Maybe it's because I'm getting older. More than anything, how close you are to your family warms my heart. Yui, when you're thirsty, remember what I told you. Try not to hold it. This burden is not your fault after all. You feel guilty for keeping something hidden from Eiji, but you're afraid of telling him also. Eiji is a kind man. Otherwise, I would never have given him my blessing. Whenever you're ready to tell him, I'm sure Eiji will accept you for who you are. For years you've worried that Kino doesn't like you. Kino didn't attend your wedding and didn't care when she became didn't care when she became a grandmother. But Kino is like this with everyone, including me. She never leaves that house under any circumstance. It may be difficult for you to understand, but Kino could never be a good mother or grandmother. That's why I took you out of her house and moved us into town. I still feel guilty for giving you that feeling of emptiness from lacking a mother, despite having one. I'm not asking you to forgive Kino for her behavior, but I want you to understand that Kino has her own reasons. I was happy when Eiji asked me to leave Kino and come live with you three. It brought a tear to my eye. Thanks to him, I was able to return to Miyama House where Kino is with a clear conscience. Or where Kino is with a clear conscience. Now you have Eiji and Minato. There's no need for me to be by your side. I've left Kino alone for a long time. She's a strong woman, but as she grows older, I want to give her my support. Remember this well, Yui. Remember this well. Yui, you're my pride and joy. Whenever you're in trouble or feeling anxious, you can always rely on me for whatever. Shaichi, which is the grandpa, right? Okay. They've got a whole family ordeal going on. Or heal. I've already used a few of those. Can go outside here. That's a bad idea because that's where the monster is. 
I didn't even save. Should have probably saved before I went out here, but maybe we'll get another save point. That is a blue moon. I can sprint, right? No enemies? Oh. That's a fancy shed. Nice. Dude, these people are rich. I guess it's also a rural area, so might not be too rich. It's a mustache? Was that a mustache door handle? That's sick. Why is the window open? That is a good point. Ah, uh, we have the key! Grandma's key, baby. Very heavy door. It's a double door. Going next chapter. I feel like we did that insanely clean. I mean, we didn't die, for one. Uh, dear Kinumiyama, I hope this letter finds you well. This is E.G. E. Jimba, which was one of the names at the start. It has been quite some time since the untimely passing of my beloved wife, Yui. Today, I'm reaching out to you with a few inqu inquiries regarding my son, Minato. He is now 13 years old. Minato has started attending middle school this year, and I wanted to share something. I've noticed, I've noticed with you. Since the summer, he has been getting unusually thirsty and comes consumes a substantial amount of water. This is like a common... This They keep talking about every, how everyone is thirsty. Initially, I thought it was the hot weather and didn't think much of it. However, as autumn passed and winter came, he was still constantly thirsty, prompting me to seek medical advice. However, the doctor found nothing wrong with him. Thinking back, I recall that Yui also had a tendency to drink a lot of water. Before her passing, I had discussed it with her. She mentioned that this was something she inherited from her father. She assured me that there was no need to worry. I'm curious to know if your husband mentioned anything about his predisposition. If you have any knowledge regarding this matter, I would greatly appreciate your answer. I eagerly await your response. I didn't know. 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 Oh my god, why did you put that here? Now I have to play the damn game. Oh my god. I'm getting too many coins. All right, well, we'll s we'll save the game. Do we? Well, we'll save it after we spend all our coins so I don't have even the slight urge to save scum this because I don't want to play this game. I got 25 coins? That's too many coins. I'm, I'm not even going to do it, I'm telling you. Okay, how do I do it? Oh yeah, this is how you do it. So we just flick it all the way. That's easy. Then we flick it a little bit. Then we flick it a little bit again. Easy peasy. And then this one is insanely hard. We either go... Okay, I can shake the machine as well. How? What the fuck? Oh! He's insane. Okay. We can do it. We just gotta find the right angle. Which has gotta be this one, right? No, dude! I was so close! It even bounced on the edge and everything! <laughs> what the fuck? Come on, man. Okay. Come on. Just flick it all the way. He's insane with it. What? We need to find, like, a setup for this? That's fine. <gasps> Dude, this is amazing. Okay. How far do we do this one? Dude! Okay, that was like... Oh, my God. You piece. I'm actually doing pretty well, though. I feel like they act genuinely made this easier <laughs> since the last time I played this. Or since, like, the demo. Oh, he's crazy. Here we go. Okay, like right there. Let's go! Dude, I did it! Are you serious? <laughs> I got him. Winning ticket yellow. A winning ticket from the 10 yen. Shared between save files. He's insane with it, dude. Do I have to do it again? Do I get that multiple times? I, I feel like... I mean, I still have a lot of coins. I guess. I don't know if this gets kept. Dude, I actually did it. I did not expect that to be done. Okay, look at this. I, I actually have, like, a setup now, dude. He's... He, I, I mean, that last part is insanely hard, but he's cracked. Just go all the way, go a little bit, and then here... Oh, well, this one. Oh, my God, I'm stupid. All right, I shouldn't have been... I shouldn't have uh, said I had a setup, and then I fuck it up immediately. I mean, I didn't have a setup for this one. I, I like... Oh. How is it? I keep going further and it does like barely anything. So here I go until this every time and it seems to work. Not every time. There is some randomness involved because I, 
I like look at the damage on the side and I put it in the same spot every time. Which seems to be relatively consistent. Like we got it several times in a row. I'm putting it in the same spot again. I guess it got a little less far this time, but that's fine. There we go. Okay. How far do we do this one, right? No, too far. He's insane though. Come on. There. You piece of crap. I still got 16 coins. Goodness gracious. I can shake the machine, but I've been doing well without shaking. Why would I cheat? When I can win fair and square. Okay, here we go. Maybe there. Okay, that is... It's insane how the difference is between, like, too far and not far at all. This is the whole game. If you tuned out... During the last time I played this and now you tune back in, you're like, wait, he wasn't kidding when he said he was going to play this for two hours. Okay, let's see. No, you dickhead. What is shaking even, like, accomplished for me? I should just, I should just go not too far. Oh, there he goes. Okay, one more time. What the fuck, man? That's so hard. Oh my god. Maybe, maybe you gotta shake when it's like the last time. Yeah, that's actually a good one. Why the fuck? I should just do this. Again. Oh, wait. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna shake the machine this time. We're gonna cheat. Hey, I already did it anyway. So even if we fill a hundred times in a row now, we've already accomplished it. I don't think the shaking does much to this piece of crap. Fuck this game. Yes. You dickhead. Yes. Oh my god. I keep going for the risky play. What the fuck was that? That was sick. Okay. Let's, let's go for the slightly less risky play. Oh, I guess I have to go that far anyway. Yes. Okay. And now we do like middle. Yes. And then here. We go that far. No! <laughs> Dude. It's so fucking hard. Okay. Come on. You piece of shit. This is gonna give me the true ending, guys. Yes? Okay. Come on. I did it till this. Did I get over last time? I got over last time, right? So I'm gonna do slightly less. I broke the machine, and I also fucked it up. I actually shook it so many times I broke it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a thing. Oh, no. I'm gonna... They gotta know, dude. They gotta know I cheated. Okay, here we go. Yes, one more time. There. <gasps> he did it again! Wait, I get the red one? Wait, I actually get another one. A winning ticket from the- I get the- wait, what the fuck? You have to win this multiple times? This is like actually part of the game, are you kidding me? Alright, here we go again, baby. I still have a few. There's actually multiple tickets. Yes. No! Dude, that's hard. Down to the last few cents. I don't know how. I mean, we're gonna find more, right? I need to set up for every single one of these. Yes. And then here I do till there. Nice. And then here I do till this. Oh. You dickhead. Was all okay, last coin. Here we go. It's the last chance. Come on. 
Yes. Let's do a little less far. Oh, come on. That was almost it. Just do it, man. Good piece. How is that? You fuck off. Okay, well, we're gonna get more coins, right? And we won it, like, two times in a row. I'm totally happy with that. And now we save the game. Hey, I'm pretty happy with that one. We get two tickets. Don't know what the tickets are for. Uh, a winning ticket. Yellow and a red ticket. It's saved between playthroughs as well. Let's look around here. Got a little distracted. We can go up, but I want this first. Uh, garden scroll. A hanging scroll depicting a woman buried in a garden. Okay. What is this? Secret. There's a key. There's no keyhole or lock inside. It's, it's going to be a shortcut for later. Yeah, I broke the damn machine, dude. Yeah, that, that went pretty well. I wonder if they genuinely made that easier. Because I was struggling, man. There's another one. A hang scroll depicting a woman and a hawk. Okay, it's gotta be like one of those match the name to the riddle puzzle thingy. Probably. Yes, of course. Winter. Here we go. Winter. Autumn. Oh, I see. It's a hanging scroll depicting a woman on a boat. Should I remove? Yeah, remove it. Okay, so we need to find four scrolls and then hang them in the right spot. There's another coin. What's this say? This is gonna be explaining it. Here we go. Uh, the legend of the princess Mayu. Once upon a time, there lived a princess named Princess Mayu, adorned with beauty untold. Beneath the spring moon's glow, Princess Mayu's sister, consumed by envy's woe, led her to a fearsome mountain where lions roamed free. Leaving her stranded, a perilous decree, yet to their surprise, Princess Mayu returned home, her spirit unbroken and her body whole. As the summer moon shimmered above, Princess Mayu's sister, driven by envy's love, guided her to a shadowy mountain steep, where hawks flocked, si secrets to keep. But, but again, Princess Mayu defied her fate, returning unscathed, unscathed through destiny's gate. With autumn's moon shining bright, the sister's patience reached its height. She set Princess Mayu adrift on a boat to a distant sea the princess was afloat. Yet as the night embraced the land, Princess Mayu returned, defying her sister's hand. Under winter's moon, fear too cold, the sister's heart now bitter and cold, she led Princess Mayu to a garden wide, digging a hole deep and dark inside. On that night, the princess did not appear. The sister worried though her conscience clear. Within the hole she peered through lay a cocoon with a hole and tiny white worms askew. askew. Okay, so uh, we have lions for spring, hawks for summer, uh, autumn boats, winter garden. It's a... Oh, it's a actual like, traditional poem. Oh my god! Jesus Christ, I was not expecting that at all. Okay, uh, so we have a few of these already. So wait, we have... Let's do the first one. First one, Winter was... Uh, was it Winter's Boat? We have... Which one do we have? We have Hawk, Garden, and Boat. Uh, oh, that was Garden. Okay, Garden... Uh, and then there, we were still missing one though. Wait, where's the last one? Is it in here? It is in here. Okay. Then we do the next one. Then we have. What was this? This is autumn. Autumn was. Let me just actually remember this instead of. Uh, summer. Summer was hawk. Summer hawk. Spring lion. Summer hawk. Uh, summer hawk. Spring lion. And then this one is boat. And then it opened the door below, a sound coming from below. Okay. Simple puzzle. Let's go. We get another heal. We're gonna need those. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, I don't see why I wouldn't save here, just to save some time if we have to if we die and have to do that again. It's gonna like be Oh you get get the bad ending. You save too many times. Good piece. Another coin. I'm gonna stack a bunch of coins so I can get good at the game again. I feel like that game is better if you, like, have a ton of coins all at once. So you can just, like, get into the flow of things. 
Uh, what the hell was this, by the way? Oh, maybe we're taking Grandma's pain pills, so we're gonna, like, go crazy. We're gonna get the bad ending. Spooky. Freaking bunker, dude. We're playing amnesia over here. What? A Is this a freaking prison? Uh, I feel like I shouldn't go in here, but there's stuff here for me to read, so... Lord Cubai. Cubai? Please forgive me. I have seen nothing. I have told no one. My lips shall remain sealed. I promise to serve the Miyama family forever and ever. So please let me leave this place. I, too, am a human being. Please do not use my flesh as a meal for that creature. What the hell is going on here? We get another coin. They baited me. All right, I'm out. Okay, these people are demons. That's a big spider. Might be Bay. What? Was that a person? It's a dead end? That's what you think. Uh, Miyama Silkworm Records. The Miyama family's livelihood through the generation revolves around safeguarding the silkworms and selling their eggs. Miyama Silkworms... Silkworm threads possess a remarkable combination of luster and flexibility. The exceptionally beautiful silk produced by the Miyama Silkworms earned a nickname Thread of the Heavens and enjoyed much prosperity. Legend has it that Miyama silkworms originated from silkworms found sprouting from the body of Princess Mayu. These silkworms have been cherished and revered as family heirlooms. The female silkworm, silkworm moth serves as the crest of the Miyama family. Isn't that kind of ironic that you never let it bloom into a, a moth, but it's your family crest? Ah, uh, this is a dead end? I'm gonna save. Save over the first slot, I guess. Um, maybe in the... This is totally a door, yeah. Some wind blowing through It's a door. You're so smart. Should I proceed? Yeah, we already saved. We did everything. Feeding silkworms beetroot make the cocoons red. Interesting. Oh. Let's go. We're, go we're going crazy. Uh, another save point. They got these everywhere. Red talisman. The red talisman is a protective charm used in the region from ancient times. It is made by dyeing paper with a crimson color believed to repel demons and drawing symbolic, symbolic characters in black ink. The exact meaning of the symbols is unknown. It is speculated that they represent the sun deity as sunlight is believed to purify their negative energies. According to the village legend, when a demon approaches the talisman, it immediately emits a radiant light, torturing the demon as it is exercised. Wait, it is... Isn't that happening to me? When I walk up to it, it also glows. Does that mean I'm a demon? I am the demon. I'm still gonna save. I don't see. I mean, they're just giving me lots of save. Oh, okay. We're gonna. It's it's the the switcheroo read. Ayano died November thirteenth, nineteen thirty. Kinu-san's house had the same photo. Demon. Ayano. Ayano. Is the demon gonna be down here? Please no. Any more coins for me to play the video game? This is the damn dungeon, man. It goes even lower. Uh what? This looks Hi. <laughs> you spooky bastard. Yama family tree. Something is cut off at the top. Sundayu. Itu. Where's me? I'm not on there. Ayano, older sister. Kinu, younger sister. Aha. Uh -huh. Saichi married. Okay. And Kyubai, we also heard about, right? Okay. I'm assuming we keep that in our log somewhere. 
An ignition tool used by hitting with a hammer and stone. Okay. Oh my god. That is a large map, dude. How is this even possible? Didn't we go underground? How is there a courtyard underground? I guess maybe we're on a mountain? Miyamayasuki. She's breathing heavy. Open map. Okay, we can open the map. I appreciate that. Oh, we're totally going to be chased down here. Okay, we have hiding spots at least. That's nice. This mom would get sick from the red thingy. Another. May 10, 1929. I've been fortunate enough to have been accepted as the son-in-law of the Miyama family. My fa father and brother had always looked down on me, considering me weak and spineless. However, in the eye of Lord Kyubai, I am a lo loyal, trustworthy man. We have exchanged vows, and I eagerly await the joyful ceremony next spring. Ever since I laid eyes on her, Ayano's figure has been etched in my mind, her skin lightly glowing and her sleek, shiny black hair. She often averts her gaze, but even the shadow cast by her long eyelashes on her cheeks is beautiful. July 7, 1929. I wanted to get Ayano's attention by any means necessary, so I decided to show her my collection of butterfly samples. I hoped that the colorful butterflies would bring her joy. Ayano said, I've never seen such beautiful butterflies before, but her expression was that of melancholy. When I asked her if she disliked butterflies, she, replies, she replied, I like butterflies, however, I don't seeing, like seeing them trapped and confined. I just want to watch them fly in their natural state. Her words struck me to my core. Oh, let's get the... Um, at least they don't have too many names, so you can kind of keep track of what's going on. That's the most fancy-ass... It's bucket I've ever seen. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it's another one of those. Yeah, let me pick up the coin. What the fuck is this, dude? This is fancy as hell. You're shitting in that? Why? Okay, well, we went, we go this way. Hey, nice, they put on candles for me. They were expecting me, oh my god. Oh my god! Help! Oh my god, what the fuck was that? You jump me somehow? I'm going. Uh, I should really turn off flash now. Yeah, there we go. Am I hurt? I am weakened. Oh, crap. Not a Digion. It's on, on Rio. Okay, walk away. Fuck. I think I can get hit one more time. I used to heal. Okay. okay. At least I checked this hiding spot before. I'm gonna go the other way then. If there's even a way to go here. No, what, what the fuck was that? I had to go that way? Only to be screwed over? You piece of shit. I'm assuming I have to go back. Yeah, the door's broken down, dude. Not a deal, that's for sure. Okay, so this is weird. We went down like several steps and now we're still outside. I'm gonna do right wall strats here. Game is very pretty, by the way. Maybe we check the well, though. There's gotta be something in here. Let me guess, we need a bucket. Ah, something's floating on the murky water. I don't, I don't think I can do anything right now. I don't see the monster. A giant door with two locks for wooden keys. Okay, well, I got nothing. Can I at least go in here? You never know in Japanese. Yeah, it's, it's just, just, it looks like a wall, but then it's suddenly a sliding door. It's pretty confusing. Can't open any of this. Um, so, an ignit. Wait, what? There's a shrine just out of reach. I need a, like, a stand up thingy. Let me guess, there's a hiding spot? That is a hiding spot. Okay, we know where to hide. Any monster? Let me guess, there's gonna be a coin. Oh no, it's an old picture too? No, it was a coin after all. Dear mom, letter from Yui too. Dear mom, it has been several months since dad passed away. Not a day goes by without a box of tissues by my side. When I came to offer my condolences, I couldn't come to terms with dad's death. I couldn't even speak with you, mom. 
Why didn't you tell us right away? But you didn't even invite our family to the funeral. If we hadn't reached out, you wouldn't have bothered to tell us at all. That was an important role model for me. I wanted to give him a final farewell. I was weak and always hid behind dad. I was scared to talk to you, mom. I was fe I feared you'd say, I hate you. But now that dad is gone, I can't go on like this anymore. I need to speak with you in person, mom. There's something I must ask you. On September 21st, I will come alone without telling IG or Minato. I don't expect a response to this letter. I've written to you many times before, mom, and you've never replied. I've been waiting a long time now. See you on September 21st. Excuse me? Grandma is a demon. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm glad the guy is at least telling a few things here and there, because I would be so lost if he didn't summarize some things. We probably could have known, because I think we saw a like, death certificate somewhere. But I'm not that smart. And close this. There's a key needed for that door. There's another heal. I am a little hurt, as you can see, but we'll be fine. So many freaking something stuck on the other side. What is this, Dark Souls? I don't know if the monster's actually roaming around or if it just like randomly pops up sometimes. I need another key. Do I need so many goddamn keys in this game? That's creepy. What? The screws have gone rusty. The door won't open. Fire! Nope, doesn't work. We'll push that. Let me guess I'm gonna get oh I'm gonna get a stick old wooden board oh an old but durable wooden board and then we can pry it open do I want to do that though I'm doing it you can't stop me yo thank you for the seven um okay you're on the other side of this door though that's bad August 19, 1929. Young Kino's Journal. I was chatting with Saichi, waiting for my sister to get ready. He gave me a pearl hairpin, saying I would match with my sister and her hairpin. I heard neither you nor Ayano had ever laid eyes on the sea, he said. I thought the two of you would appreciate something from there. Considering how close the two of you are, I would be delighted if you would wear, would wear them together. As he handed me the hairpin, my face instantly flushed. I wonder if he would, could hear my racing heart as if my excitement was too obvious. I had to hide my face. It was the first time a man other than my father had given me a gift. Unlike my stern father, his voice was gentle and soft. I wished to have that voice by my side forever. And then he whispered into my ear, Isn't Ayana like a butterf Ayano like a butterfly? With that, the blush from my cheeks was extinguished. The pounding oh feels bad, man. The pounding in my heart chest in my chest subsided as if my very pulse had stopped. He tenderly caressed the other hairpin intended for my sister, reminding me of whom his heart belonged to. Indeed, my sister Ayano is like a butterfly. She loathes being carried away by the wind and drenched by the rain. Touching her delicate wings would only result in pain. Ayano is beautiful, delicate, and fragile. I could crush her with my bare hands. For now, I am still the only one who can be with her, I am the only one who can place my hands upon that slender white neck. I am the only one. What the fuck? Okay, then. Jealousy. Oh, there's a hiding spot here. I thought that was just going to be a door. Uh, that is very sus. That's a sussy thing to say. Oh, we need these. Uh, two whole... Okay, we need to get a hammer of some sort. I'm assuming. Oh, I'm in this. There was a monster on the other side here like a moment ago. I love how we keep getting coins. I mean, I'm assuming we need... I don't know how many times we need to beat this damn game. I've already beaten it twice. Don't make... There's a butterfly on the lock. Don't make a noise. She's like right there. You down here? No. 
She's in that room. She can't get out. It's locked. If you open that door, you only help me. Silly. Unless she's downstairs. She might be downstairs. Oh, yeah. There you, you can see her. She's outside that door. Don't open that. Uh, what's this? E? There's something in the pan. It's stuck in solid grease. Fire. I can't start a fire without firewood. Dang it. Oh no. I'm sneaky. You can't see me. I'm sneaky. What is this? Oh, fucking coin. I don't need a coin. It's a hand pump. It's rusty and won't move. Dude, everything is fucking stuck in this house. Goodness gracious. Fucking sucks here. Well, that is creepy, man. Going upstairs, though. That's good for me. Okay. Yes, firewood. Okay. What's this? Another coin? Uh, Young Saichi's Journal 2. September 8th, 1929. When I visited the Miyama family... I caught a glimpse of Ayano and Kinu walking together in the front yard. Ayano had an innocent, girlish smile on her face as she talked to Kinu. But as soon as she noticed me, her smile disappeared. I had a faint suspicion all along who she has eyes for, whose side she wishes to be by, and it's not me. Think she's upstairs? I'm just gonna check this before I... Oh, you can hide in the freaking thing. I see. Okay, new hiding spot. Oh dear, oh dear, what should I do? I've gone and lost the key. I've had it with me before I went to the toilets, but somehow I managed to lose it. If anyone finds out, I'll be doomed. Lord Cuba, I will show no mercy. Okay, so you lost the key in the pooper? It's in the pooper. You're upstairs. Stay upstairs, please. I should probably do this now that I'm here. Are you coming downstairs? Don't come downstairs. No! <gasps> she heard that. Oh, God. Yeah, we have the tier fucking three flashlight, though, luckily. Okay, good. You're walking past. She needs a haircut. We're going in circles. I'm not leaving yet. I'm not stupid. Go back up the stairs. Don't you dare start walking in circles around here, man. She's standing like exactly... I gotta light a fire there. I guess I could run over and do it. You're going back upstairs. No, you just go. Yes. Okay, good. Don't know if I can get out yet. I think now. Okay, crouch down immediately. I just have to do this. Then I can run away. Ah! Ah, I can't do that! Fucking piece of crap! Hide! She's gonna see me. Oh my god, you dickhead. Wait, huh? She didn't even see me at all. I couldn't do it. Oh, excuse me? Okay, wait, what the fuck was that slow ass response, dude? Okay, so I need to wait way longer. She can see down the railing. That makes sense. Go back up the stairs, goddammit. Yokai confirmed. <laughs> Please. Because there's damn light out there. Okay, so I'm waiting.
That's gotta be far enough, right? Sound like all the way over there. Yeah, she's far away. Come on. Who do you think? Do it! Do fire! Before it's too late. Go, 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 go. There we go. Boom. That's gonna make so much noise. How the fuck do you even do that? Just lighting. <laughs> this is this one of the keys, probably? Could this be. Nice. Crowbar key. Okay. Crowbar key? An old iron key. It is a tag with a crest of a crowbar. Is it a crowbar? Okay. Well, we need a crowbar. All right, then. Good stuff. I'm gonna close this and check over here while she's not anywhere close. Can I even go this way? I can go this way. I'm gonna keep crouching. Probably, yeah, there's a way to go there as well, but I'll check this first. It's a save point and another one of these fucking games, dude. Four coins, really? All right, we gotta play. I'm gonna save the game. Never mind, I'm gonna save the game right now. Am I gonna die here? Can I play this game? I'm just gonna play this game. What's the worst? Thing? Wait, this is different. Wait, this is a different game. Wait, what the fuck? Oh my god, I have to. St what? Where do I even have to make? Do I have to get it over to the spin? No, I don't have to get it. Where? What? Oh, it, it needs to go there. Whoops, I thought I. It needs to get over the hole. Fuck. Okay, this is a whole new experience. It needs to get over the hole, but not too far. Okay, there we go. Now we need to go up high, but not too high. There. Then we need to go as fast as fucking. Oh no. Fucking piece of crap. <laughs> god, I thought that wouldn't. There. Oh my god, this one's harder, dude. You. How many do I have? I have six more. This is fun. Okay, let's let's do a tactical. This looks not fine. Okay, let's look at the there. Right, that's not even close. There. Okay. And then this I did this previously, so now I do. Okay, that was too far. We're getting a setup here. This was perfect before, yes. And then we do this is in the middle, okay. And then this probably is a little faster. Dude, that is so insanely hard, man. That's actually messed up. All right, there. Nope. Wait, I did that the same as last time though. How did that feel that time? Okay, there we go. And then this was what I did last time. Okay, and then here, I gotta go not as far, right? Or do I... I guess this far? You fucking... This? This far. Yes. This far here. And then here, it's just really hard. So I need to go, like, kind of there. Dude, that is actually insanely fucked. Goodness gracious. Uh, so that was too far or was that not far enough? I don't... That was not far enough, right? It needs to be further, so it needs to be here. Okay! Now what? Now I... Where the fuck does this even go? This goes up and around, okay? Oh, that's weird. That's the furthest it can go. So like this? Probably the furthest. No! Dude, that was fucking hard as... Oh, God. Okay, that was hard as hell, but hey, we'll try that next time. I'm not gonna save, reload, and cheese it. It's fine. I'm gonna go this way. If that gives us a bad ending, so be it. We already played the game several times. You're actually there. Where the fuck are you going? I'm going this way. I don't want to go that direction, because that's where the monster is. Oh, uh. oh I opened a shortcut door. Nice. I'm assuming. That's what that was. Because there was a plank. Oh, God. Stuck on the other side. I'm going to go this way, because there's a monster there. Uh, I don't know. If already oh, there's upstairs here. Just gonna come from there, though. 
to use upstairs. Fuck me, dude! I hate it here! Okay, we've been here before. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Do I run? Don't I have a key now? I'm running. Do I have this key? Doesn't work there! Goodbye. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. I think this is the way back. Wait, the poo the toilet though. There's something in the toilet. Oh god, stinky. You gotta be kidding me. Don't tell me they dropped the key here. <laughs> yup, check the toilet, baby. Oh, stinky time. This is the worst day of my life. Oh, yucky. <laughs> oh god. That is disgusting. Winning ticket yellow? Already got that one. I have two of those now. What the hell? Okay. Uh, that was not a key. Wait. Do I have to look again? What the fuck? That was not what I wanted. Yeah, at least there, he doesn't show his hand going in the pooper. So you're over there. Just lead back and I go outside here. I think that's a hiding spot. Anything here? We already checked, right? Oh, this just opens and closes the door. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, fuck. 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 How did she not see that? I did that straight in your face! Ah! Ah, she definitely did see it. Oh my god, hello. Do I die? Oh god, heal. 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 Run. Okay, alright. Turns out that's a bad idea. That's a bad, bad, bad idea. Grow, run. Where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going upstairs. Oh, this just loops around, didn't it? Okay, I've run out of stamina. Where am I even going? It's a hiding spot. I don't want to hide right now. Okay, so I don't have the crowbar yet. I have the crowbar key, though, which is not this one. I don't think so. No, that's a butterfly. Okay, so I need to find whatever door the crowbar keys goes on. I kind of want to go fast. Um, speed run mode. Are you down here? What was this way? Is that the crowbar key? Peony. Oh. You peas? There's so many fucking doors. Was it racks over? Is this gonna be into the monster? Are you there? This is a. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, no, she's coming up. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, my God, Jesus Christ, she did a freaking stab for me. Where do I fucking open the door, man? Ah, she's fast as hell! Does closing doors in her face even do anything? Oh my god, I'm running. I'm running and I can't get up! Open the door! That actually worked. What am I doing? Complimenting the plate. Mr. Cube, I, during our business negotiations, the plate that I had... Oh, am I just bossing it? I think I'm fine. During our business negotiations, the plate that I had had a look at was remarkable. At first glance, it may appear somewhat unsp uninspiring to the eyes of a novice like myself, but I never dreamed that it would have such an intricate mechanism. Only when immersed in cold, clear water does the true beauty of the artwork reveal itself, and I am truly impressed. I hope to have an opportunity to see it again in the future. Okay, we need to find a plate or something. Open the building! Crowbar! Thank you! Goodbye! Fucking speedrun, dude. I got a crowbar, which is for those planks from before. Which were not over- Oh, they were over here. Fuck. No! Can I just do this while- Oh, I can't do that. Okay. Am I- Am I super hurt? I'm weakened. Okay. Go, 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 go. How close are you? Okay, you're not close. Wait, I can do a loop. I'm doing a loop de loop. She 
doesn't know, dude. Okay, get looped. It's up here, right? Don't come back down this way. Ah! Fuck! That's the worst. Worst of all time, dude. What did I say? Oh, God. Stop. Stop stopping to stop, fucking piece. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm being stupid. Close the door. What am I even doing? Chase me here. This is perfect. If you chase me down now, I can go up the stairs. And then you'll be none the wiser. You're still... Oh, my God. You're fast. How did you fucking take that shortcut? That's a fucking different door! Do the thing. I can't. I can't. I gotta be out of the hide spot. That actually worked? That actually worked. Get. <laughs> I love that she runs into the only spot in the room that we can see her from the hiding spot. I see what you did there, Gabe. <laughs> I'm on to you. <laughs> Okay, we need to wait for a little bit because we need to remove these planks, whatever is below there. I think she went downstairs. Okay, I am weakened, but I can take another hit. We do have a lot of heals, right? We got six heals, we'll be fine. Okay, nice. And we're in the exact spot we need to be, so good stuff. This Is this a crowbar? I would call this pliers, but who am I? Okay. Is this a shortcut or a different room? Suppliers in America. Peony key. We saw that one earlier somewhere. October 16, 1929. I've started be being mean to Ayano. I intentionally avoid talking to her and am being unfriendly towards her. I love Saichi too much to not do this. No matter what I do, she never she never asks me why. Instead, on the verge of tears, she says, I'm sorry, Kinu, please forgive me, even though she has nothing to apologize for. You suck! November 23rd, today is an autumn dusk. My sister and I ventured into the mountains from the path to the shrine to admire the colorful autumn fo foliage. I held my sister's hand tightly. She smiled with joy and squeezed my hand in return. She didn't hold my recent behavior against me. She has always been kind to me. Ever since we were children, we would sneak out during autumn. Together, we would watch the leaves turn crimson and the sunset paint the sky. As the chilly winds of late autumn blew, I could feel the warmth of our joined hands. But this will probably be the last time. Next spring, my sister will marry Saichi, while I will be married off to someone else. Kinu, the maple trees are beautiful. Let's do this again next year. My sister says this with innocent eyes. She torments me, unaware of the turmoil in my heart. The sister who has always been with me is slipping away. I couldn't put into words the horrific things I felt. Finally, I unleashed my frustration and revealed everything to her. I will never go again. Why don't you go with Saichi instead? You don't need me anymore after all. I said those words, forcefully releasing her hand and walked away. I turned my back on her and kept walking, not wanting her to see the tears streaming down my face. From behind me, a faint voice whispered, Don't leave me. Pretending not to hear, I continued walking down the mountain alone. At that moment, I wondered if my sister Ayano was also shedding tears. Feels bad, man. Hi! Fuck! I... I got it, baby. Fastest hider of all time just dropped. She in that room. I need to go back to that room. There was stuff there. Is she? I think she jumped down. Can you come out of that room, please? Did I not make enough noise for you to actually properly chase me? You're just camping? Or is she upstairs? Maybe she's upstairs. What? Don't tell me you're coming in here. I think she's coming in this room. She just did a peekaboo? 
That's the door that was locked, so she can't open it from that side. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Oh yeah, there's a there's a board there. Get fucked, bitch. I I you can't come in here until I open that door. Uh, let's see. Was there anything else? I guess we're gonna open it. What did we get here? We got the key, the peony key. Okay. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. Okay, so we. You're right outside this fucking door, dude. I guess I'm opening it and just running. Where's the... It was upstairs, right? Okay. Are you here? Ah, the answer is yes! Oh, fuck. Can I open this door? Nope, I can't. Peace. You suck. You suck. No, she threw like a freaking dive bomb. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Can I go back? Is this the way back? I'm in the toilet. Occupied! Occupied! Ah! Fuck. <laughs> that did not work. You didn't listen, dude. Run. I need to get up the stairs. Fuck. Okay, this way. This is not the way. This is not the way. Fuck, maybe it worked though. Come in here. No consideration. Running past 500 hiding spots. Yeah, because I want to run to the place I have to go. Instead of... Because I got so many heals anyway. Can I go past that? I think I need to go in that room. Don't be here. The closing doors does actually kind of work. I don't know where she is. That... Where the fuck... You need to go this way? That door's locked. Well, there's the stairs, right? That's the outside. Is there another way to go here? Because that leads to nothing. That leads to nothing. Gotta be this way, right? Don't forget we have the map true. Um, so yeah, we can't go here. Oh, no, no, no. We do need to go this way. Oh, I was going to find it. I'm fine. Miss Sasuras, thank you for the 10. Okay, I don't. I think she went this way. So I'm pretty sure the key was upstairs or the locked door was upstairs. Does it show where the peony key is supposed to be used? Oh, no, it's butterfly. But I thought one of these was peony as well. Maybe it's downstairs can't find me. There's a hiding spot here anyway. I am kind of standing up. That was the butterfly one. Okay, I think it was downstairs. Yeah, this, so that's a butterfly. Where are you? He's down exactly where I have to go, dude. Piece of crap. You dingus. Did she open that door? Can't find me. And then here there were can does it actually show? Counting this one, right? This one, yes. She's insane, okay. That's an interesting key. Oh, wait, what? This is a different courtyard? I think so, dude. These people are rich as fuck. Uh, December 1st. On that day, I left my sister Ayano behind and descended the mountain alone. I was certain she would follow me. I anticipated her tearful apology as she had done countless times before, but Ayano never returned. Why did I let go of her hand? If only we had gone down the mountain together, hand in hand, Ayano would still be by my side. I lost her due to my shallow jealousy. I've cried and lived in sorrow for days, and now I've run out of tears. December 23rd, I heard someone calling my name on a snowy night, so I looked outside. To my surprise, Ayana was standing in front of the gate. She had been wandering the mountains for a month, yet her kimono, sandals, and her hair remained pristine and spotless. However, she has lost her ability she had lost her ability to speak. I embraced her tightly, clutching her hand as tears streamed down my face. Ayano's hand was warm, the warmth I had once let slip away. I will never let it go again. Okay. Wholesome ending, kind of, not maybe. 
Uh, something back here? Something hiding? Yep. Freaking knew it. This might be one of those, like, proxy enemies that just, like, knows kind of where you are and then goes to your location. Checking these. Place is a little worn down, huh? Is that a hiding spot? Another coin. Hey, we're gonna need these if we actually need to beat that game. Spade. Farming tool used for digging. Okay. Can I open this? I thought there was a cursor there. Is she anywhere close? I don't hear the breathing, but I'm still gonna crouch. I think she has just. Oh my god. I was just about to say, I think she has perfect line of sight. You're not gonna come around here, right? You didn't actually see me. You didn't see me! Oh, she actually lived. Dude, I'm insane with it. Get fucked. Okay. I can't, she's looking the other way, right? So I can go this way now? She's not gonna see me, totally. Did that actually work? She's a genius. He's a madman. Being in the light is dangerous. I can go this way. I want to check that as well, but that's even more in the light. Bad goddess, thank you for the 16. Wait, this is like the similar room from before. This reminds me of Jisatsu, the still art game we played. Hiding the Mulberry Crest. Lord Kyubai ordered me to hide the Mulberry Crest displayed on the altar. Red Mulberry Crest was buried near the shrine while the blue Mulberry Crest was buried next to the stone lantern in the courtyard. When I reported to Lord Kyubai, after hiding them, he bow bowed his head to me and thanked me. It looked as if a big burden had been lifted. He had a calm expression, which I had not seen in a long time. After Lady Zayano's passing, Lord Kyubai would look constantly agitated. He hardly slept, always drowned himself in books, and always appeared to be reading until his eyes went bloodshot that serene yet sorrowful expression left me with a sense of unease since then lord kyube has vanished without a trace okay so we need to go to the shrine and the stone lantern that's exactly what i'm saying oh thank you okay check this july 3rd 1952 huge time step uh, when I came home from work, I found Yui crying in the living room. I immediately went to check on her. I noticed her face and uniform were stained with blood, and in a trem and in her trembling hands was a lifeless canary. It was the canary I had gifted her on the thir on her thirteenth birthday. When I asked her why this w why this was, she said she was thirsty, so thirsty that she couldn't bear it. So she, she drank the canary's blood. I had hoped for her to have a normal childhood, but deep down, I knew this day would come. I was horrified, but knew that Yui's heart would shatter if I did nothing. When I first held baby Yui in my hands, I made a vow to do anything for this child. Much like her mother, she is my pride and joy. I told the weeping Yui that she inherited her bloodthirst from me. I feigned silence to let it sink in. By shouldering the blame for Yui's bloodlust, I hoped to keep her grounded to the world. I offered my apologies through tears. Yui, in turn, urged me not to cry. After that, I began going to the butchers to purchase blood. Yui and I will drink it together. What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, then. Most normal father-daughter relationship just dropped. Okay, we can hide there. So we need to find these crests. One is outside here. The lantern. Stone lantern. There's the stone lantern. This is so pretty. Uh, the bucket from the thing from before, yes. And then dig something here. Please let me dig. Yes, I'm just digging right next to her. Seems like a bad idea. Do I have three hands? How am I holding this flashlight right now? Put it in my mouth. Turn that shit off. 
Oh god. You outside? Don't you dare. Please go up here. No, 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 no. I want to check that other room, but I can't. Oh, wait, I can't check from here. Fuck, 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 fuck. I am going to get killed. What is this? November 13, 1930. I've received news of Ayana's return, yet I haven't been able to meet her since she first went missing. Despite my repeated request to visit her, Lord Kyubai would only respond with... Ayana was unwell. In the midst of my dark and gloomy days, I was suddenly summoned to the Miyama residence. Uh, Lord Kyuba scared me down with a grim, or stared me down with a grim expression. Ayana was afflicted with a severe illness. If you want to see her, you must marry Kinu and become part of the Miyama family, he demanded. If you change your mind after, you will not survive. What the fuck? As long as I can be with, be with Ayano, I don't care what happens to me. Without hesitation, I accepted his request. November 14, 1930. Ayana was in the depths of a dark cave, trapped in a dungeon. She was almost unrecognizable. The woman had fallen. The woman I had fallen for was no longer there. To be honest, she seemed no longer human. More terrifying than Ayano's appearance was Kinu. How could Kinu be fine with all of this? Inside the cell, Kinu sat by Ayano, smiling blissfully. A chilling sensation ran down my spine. Okay, then. Wait, wasn't there something with... Oh, yeah, we need to put the plate in water. And then it shows something. Right? I remember that. Okay, I'm gonna check this, because the monster's, like, right fucking behind me. Uh, that's a dead end. It feels like ages ago when we all celebrated Ayano's safe return. Shimu Shimamura, my friend and doctor, went above and beyond to help her. Ayano has been gradually losing her sanity, and her appearance was deforming. What? Watching my daughter mutate before my eyes, she I was on the brink of losing my own sanity. How many times did I ask the heavens for her recovery? No matter how many times I called Ayano's name, she looked at me with her blood-red eyes. She tilts her head in confusion. She no longer recognizes me. Ayano has transformed into a monster. Amidst my fervent search for a cure, I stumbled upon an ancient document left by our ancestors containing the term Princess Possession. According to it, Princess Possession is a condition that transforms woman, women into monsters. And if we use a certain cocoon to treat Princess Possession, we can reverse the transformation, restoring her to her original form as a woman. With this cocoon, I am confident that I can cure Ayano. Let me guess. A hollow cocoon? Dun dun dun. The name of the game, baby. Uh, I have this. None of this does anything. Okay, I'll come back here another time. Don't. You dare be here. This door, can this door open? Oh, this is a wall. Hey, don't be here because I'm going to get killed. Uh, okay, so that is the library. So these rooms are just. Fuck! Fuck! She's right freaking here, dude! Hey, this is where we got hiding spots, baby! Isn't that the library? And I walked down this and then I found nothing? Or I found a locked area? Okay, if you go that way, that's actually amazing for me. Wait a minute. It's a dead end, so she's gonna come back very soon here. There's a high, there's healing. Go! Dude, he's insane with it. It's cracked. Okay, close this. We need to go to the altar. Um, can I pause the game while looking at this? Or there's a toilet there. We are wait. So there's multiple toilets. This is another toilet. There's a save point. I should actually really save. I haven't saved in a long time. Nice. What is this? Okay, save first. I don't know what's going on here. I'm just gonna save... Ah, it's fine. Whatever. It doesn't matter too much. Yeah, what's this? 
Oh, I thought this was a peg leg for a second, but it's an oil can upside down. An old-fashioned metal oil can. It has a small amount of lubricant for metal, so I was like, what the fuck? Okay. Uh, what do we- Oh, there was some rusty thing. Right? There was a rusty water thing before. Now we can lubricate the water thing, and then we can put water on the plate, which will then show us what's on the plate. Uh-huh. And now we can get whatever the key was from the toilet. Yes. I'm sorry. It's toilet time. Check the toilet. Ah, <laughs> Nice. At least tell me it's actually the key this time. Ah, it's the counting rods key. Okay, that we have already seen that door. Uh, put your hand in both toilets. Dirty right hand achievement. What the hell? Okay. Don't hit a monster. Already been in there. That was a toilet. Okay. Oh no, she's on the other side. Wait, I can open this as a shortcut. Did this? This is actually a very well crafted map. She's now, I mean, she can just follow me, but this is fine. Okay, so we need to go, let's see, right? We need to go to the shrine. Yes, let's first go to the shrine because we need to dig up something, right? Or there was like a crest here. Uh, we can use the spade. Right, use the spade. Wait, I don't, the spade is a one-time use? I'm using everything. Are you fucking, fucking piece of crap. All right, there's something there that we need to grab. I thought, why didn't we just use the spade? Okay, every key item can be used only once. Okay, so then we go to the um, counting closet here. So we need to go, oh my God, we need to go so far. Go back through here. Is that not where the monster is though? <gasps> ah, fuck, ah, fuck. All right, we'll do the long way. I think we can go the long way if we go up here at least nothing. Wait, we can do the well. While we're here anyway. Um, yes. Nice. We got a red one. Left silkworm wooden tag. A wooden key. Oh, we need two of these. With an indented red wooden tag. It is labeled left silkworm. So we need two of those. Okay. So now how the fuck do I get around? Um... Cause this leads nowhere. Wait, have we already been to the storage shed? Um, where does this even go? Is this how we got in here? Oh, this is how we got in. Okay. Uh, right. The hidden door won't open anymore. Okay, so yeah. So we need to just go um all the way back. We just gotta run. If we we can actually run past her. Like, well, we can trigger our attention and then just run past. Wait into the well. I, I think we need to use the... Where was that thing? Does anyone remember? I don't remember where the water thing was. But it was somewhere close. Uh, I'm going around. I'm lost in the sauce. There's so many blocked passageways here. Okay, this is fine. I'm gonna get hit here, but I run past it. Fucking juke art! Oh my god, get juked. Get absolutely juked, lady. This is fine. Can I close the freaking doors? Okay, I need to go through the courtyard. To the counting closet here. No, 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 you can't be here. Can I even open this? Wasn't this? Yeah. This. Open the door. This is a bad idea. I'm just running in here. To grab whatever's here. Okay, uh, March 18. Don't mind me. I'm just reading Seiichi's journal real quick. 1960. It has been nearly 20 years since I left her here with baby Yui in my arms. Yui has gone married and I've returned to Miyama family. I announced my return and they neither rejected nor welcomed me. Kino responded with a simple, I see. Surely Kino must have resented me even if I had a ba Can you fucking chill? Can I read this in a sec here? I'm gonna read- Oh, nice, we have this. I wanna read that when the fucking game isn't going so hard. Ah! 
Alright, um, I'm running. That's a fucking door that I closed in my own face. Um, I don't have the ski. I don't have the ski, dude. Looper. Loop, 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 loop. Okay, I need to go to, uh, because I have this now, so I can go to the shrine, right? Shrine is through here, and then we can actually hide here, because there's a hiding spot in one of these. Right? Isn't there? Yes, there. Perfect. Okay. And now we can read, too. Nice. Read the journal first. Um, it's been nearly 20 years since I left here with, the ba with baby Yui in my hands. Yui has gotten married, and I have returned to the Miyama family. I announced my return, and they neither rejected nor welcomed me. Kino responded with a simple, I see. Surely Kino would have must have resented me, even if I had abandoned her for Yui's sake. I gr grappled with the guilt, even while living in town. I never forget them, the sisters. I had resolved to return one day. And even at this moment, I still, I'm still thinking of Ayano. June 29th. Uh, 1962. Shimamura committed you know what and I, and I left the village leaving no one in the Miyama family. Kino has been Ayano's sole caretaker. She looks after Ayano every day. Although I have returned to the household I cannot approach Ayano let alone touch her. I can only observe them from outside the cell. Even in her state Ayano is still is always thinking about Kino. That is my biggest regret. Do I still envy Kino even now? In my youth, I gazed upon Ayano and yearned to caress her fair skin and her silky hair. Yet in the end, I could not even touch her fingertips. Even so, I simply cannot give up. My desire to see Ayano again consumes me. Yui bears a striking resemblance to Ayano. However, she still is not the same person as Ayano. In the journal of my father-in-law, Kiyubei, which was discovered within the mansion, he talks about a cocoon. Had he found a way to bring her back? If the words written here tell the truth, then I will reclaim Ayano by any means necessary. Okay. Um. So we're we're gonna cure her. I'm also gonna grab this with the ladder before the lady shows up. Let's go. We get the last thing, which we can now. We can go. Okay. So there's so many puzzles we can solve now. Um. Oh fuck. Okay. So we can go back to the. Where was it? The altar room. That's where we had to do the double puzzle, right? So we can run through the courtyard for that, which we have to go back for that. Or we can... No, because this doesn't connect. Or, I don't remember... Robert, where the fuck was that water? It wasn't that storage shed. It wasn't altar room. There was water somewhere. I want to go back that way, but that's literally where she is. I would have to loop her. Wholesome ending, we better. I have one of these. There we go, that's one. I just need the other one. Uh, lady, could you, uh, sincerely fuck right off? Are you here? I'm a little hurt. I'm just weakened, right? Was it in the kitchen? That does make sense. Is there a kitchen? There's a kitchen. Wait, should we go through here? Okay. That's a good call. That does make sense. And then we can get whatever is on the plate. I don't even know what's on the plate. This way, and then to the right here. It doesn't sound like she's here. And then the kitchen is at the first left. I don't hear anything, so I'm just gonna run. You're so smart, let's go. Okay, oil can, nice. It's a hand pump, it's rusty and won't move. We're fixing that. Nice. God, that looks ridiculous. It's going on the stone. The water's running now, and then we make the plate wet, which does something. What does it do? It's supposed to make a symbol of some kind. A pattern appear on appeared on the plate. Oh, we need to solve this puzzle. Okay. Wait, what? A vibrantly painted plate with excellent craftsmanship. Green on top, blue on the right, red on the bottom, and black on the left. It comes together to form a mulberry leaf crest. Okay, green, blue, red, black. Green, blue, red, black is what we need for the other puzzle. Okay, good shit. Do we still have stuff? We don't. I think we actually now just go to the altar. Which is like straight through here. 
Uh, and then we solve the puzzle. Although we would, I would like to save, which I don't know if there's any save points here. Oh, what's this? Another, never mind. This is. Wait, what the fuck? Did I open this? Oh yeah, I found something in there. Okay, we're just gonna run. It doesn't matter. Fuck! I'm gonna loop. Loop, 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 loop. It's fine. She's not fast, right? She's totally fucking insanely fast. Open the fucking door. Loop her into the courtyard, and then we go this way. You can't get me. Don't run out of stamina, you sticker! You piece of crap! Heal. Okay, hide. Hide in the altar room. This is not the altar room. Where the fuck? I got lost, dude. I got mega lost. I'm going up the stairs. She's still after me? She's not even after me, dude. Get absolutely smoked. Get fucking smoked. Oh, no. She's still after me. be after me still, right? Okay, now we go fucking this way, yes. This way. Okay. And then we solve this puzzle. So it was what colors? It was green, blue, red, black. Oh, fuck. Milbury Crest, put that in. I think I need one more. I have one more. Okay, this is gonna be complicated. Green needs to be at the top. The mechanism is activated. Okay, we need to rotate these. Uh, turn. Okay, green is at the top. Uh, let's rotate this over here for a sec so we can get blue in place. And then this goes back. Okay. No, blue need. These guys need to be. Wait. These guys need to be up here for a sec while I fix this one. And then black. And then red just needs to be parked up here for a moment. Black needs to come over here. This one is going to be good then. And then we rotate... It, wait. I'm lost in the sauce. No, this one needs to be parked here for a sec. Then we do... Blue needs to be over here. I'm fucking it up. Let's park red. That. No, but no. Okay, they're all in their respective corners. This one needs to be here. But then when I rotate the other one, this one's gonna be fucked. So, black goes in place. No, green goes in place. Black goes in place. Red is in place. And now, but now when I rotate blue, it's gonna fuck everything up. Um. What? Okay, so I do this. And then I do this, and then I do this. He's insane with it. Right? Easy peasy. And then what's this? Library key. Key with an L-shaped metal bar on the handle. Okay, okay. We know how to get there. Which is just through this again. Which means I'm going to run into her again. Okay, I left the plate there. Uh, I have a hiding spot here, though, if I need to. I'm trying to fix you, lady. <gasps> No, 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 no. All right, library key. Use it. Let's go. What the fuck? That's a weird-ass key. It goes through nothing. Strangest key of all time. Another heal. Okay, I have quite a few. Oh, I only have five coins still. I, I assume I have a lot. I have two yellow ones, one red one. I don't know how many of those I need. There's the other key. Uh, May 9th, uh, 1968. Saichi agitated. Saichi agitated. Told me he had discovered a way to cure my sister. What was this man thinking? He had once recoiled at the sight of my sister. He abandoned us and fled the town with Yui. I have never found Ayano to be ugly. No matter how many years pass, she remains as enchanting as ever. I have kept her hair long and sleek and her lips red. I was always jealous of her beauty and still am. Ayano is as beautiful as ever. Seiichi is trying to separate us. Such a thing must not come to pass. I cannot bear it. I will not allow Seiichi to take Ayano away from me. May 20th, 1968. I threw my pearl hairpin into the well. I have tried to discard that thing many times, yet I could never bring myself to it. To do it. I asked Saichi to retrieve the hairpin. He chuckled and assured me, assured me, don't worry, I'll get it for you. I embraced Saichi from behind as he peered into the well to retrieve it. 
I drew him closer into my softer embrace. What's the matter, Kinu? I heard his gentle voice. It's nothing, I replied. Then with all my strength, I pushed him straight into the well. There we go. We finally figured out what, why that happened. That was the first and last time I touched Saichi. Okay, so she did kill Grandpa. What the hell, dude? Oh, my God. What the fuck? Hi. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jimmy, Christmas. I'm dead. Run. Where do I go? What, did, what the information did I find? Oh, I found the other door. Run. Just go. Just run. Dude, get. Open the door. Oh, fuck. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go. I can go in here. This is fine. And go to the end of this hallway in the other courtyard. Please fuck off, sincerely. This is not the right way to go, brother. <laughs> ah, am I weakened? I'm only weakened. Okay. Dude, get juked. Absolutely broke your ankles there. Get fucked. Okay, I need to go to the other courtyard. Which is through here. Where am I even going? I'm so lost in the sauce right now. Okay. I am fucking turbo lost. I'm not supposed to be here. I need to go through here. She's after me. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, I'm in the... What the fuck? Help. Okay. This way, yes. Yes. Right? Yeah, and then we go... Because I need to go back to the well. This door, right? This door is what I need to unlock. There, there. Yes. Yes. Fuck you. Can I use that key, though, when she's chasing me? I don't know if I can. I might not be able to. <laughs> go! Nice! Let's go, dude. Get shit upon. Okay. Easy peasy. We've done it. Let's go. We're gonna save for sure. Okay, save in which slot? Slot with the lowest time for. That was good. That was good stuff, dude. We're. I feel like we're almost speed running. Okay. Let's see. What do we got here? We got more coins. I didn't actually beat that one game, right? If that's a problem, whatever. There's a checkered tray with old man written on it. Excuse me. Old picture number two. Yep, read. Ayano, 1933. December 23rd, 1929. Uh, Dr. Yahe Shimamura. Okay, so this is a doctor. I was awakened in the middle of the night by someone pounding on my door. I went to see a panicked servant from the Miyama family. Miss Ayano, who had been missing since she ventured into the mountains, had returned. I couldn't believe my ears. Despite my disbelief, I trudged through the snow and arrived at the Miyama mansion, my medical supplies in hand. Miss Ayano was leaning against her sister, Miss Kinu. They were seated on a tatami mat. Miss Ayano was just sitting there, staring blankly. I was concerned about her mental and physical state, but upon inspecting her, there wasn't a scratch on her. It was d difficult to fathom how she had spent a month in the cold, frigid mountains unharmed. Then, then... A rather unsettling sensation watched over me. January 24th. A month has passed since Miss Ayano's return. She still doesn't speak and spends all day in her room staring into space. Whenever someone tries to talk, she only glances at them. However, Miss Kino is by her side. She seems to be happy. She leans against her with a smile. They're two sisters who lost their mother as a child. They must be like two halves of a whole. Lord Kyube mentioned, She's a timid girl. I am not surprised she does not want to speak after that. But there seems to be something amiss. She drinks water like she's about to die of dehydration. She hasn't eaten or slept since her return. Furthermore, she doesn't even need to go to the bathroom. April 21st. The cherry, blossom are in full, cherry blossoms are in full bloom. Yet Miss Ayano remains sheltered in her dark room. When did she last touch sunlight? She must be playing League of Legends. Yesterday, Lord Kyube opened the door to her room, intending to show Miss Ayano the cherry blossoms. However, as soon as sunlight poured in, Something terrifying happened. Miss Ayano let a piercing scream and crumpled to the floor. <laughs> I sent shivers down my spine. Her skin appeared inflamed, as if she had suffered a severe sunburn. Beneath the damaged skin, I could see her raw, reddened flesh. August 31st. Miss Ayano keeps losing weight, but is somehow growing taller. Or perhaps it would be more accurate to say that her limbs are becoming elongated. She used to be petite. 
but now she's taller than I am. Furthermore, no matter what injury she sustains, she miraculously heals within a matter of days. Her burns from the other day have completely healed, not a single scar remaining. Yet there is something even more chilling than this transformation. There are moments when Miss Ayano stares at me. Her sunken, hollow eyes glare at me as if she were a predator and I was her prey. November tw 12. My worst fears have come true. Lord Kyube has secluded Miss Ayano. She is in total isolation. Miss Kino is burdened with the sole responsibility of caring for her. And then tragedy struck. Miss Ayano bit and fatally wounded one of the servants. She ate her. That night, I told Kyube there was nothing I could do. He pleaded with me, please do not abandon Ayano. I could not stand through the anguish in the eyes of my dear friend. I felt as if my heart would tear in two. November 13. I found myself forgiving Miss Ayano's death Forging Miss Ayano's death certificate. A doctor should never do this. But for the sake of my friend, I had to. To conceal the murder, we used the body of a servant as a decoy. This is how we faked Miss Ayano's death. It was the only way to protect her from the public. Lord Kiyube and I decided to confine her to the dungeon connected via the hidden passage. Okay, so that's the dungeon we found. April 1st. This is the fourth spring since Miss Ayano's return. She remains imprisoned within those walls. She survived by consuming the blood of chickens, cows, and sometimes even humans. Her once beautiful figure is no more. She is a mere shadow of her former self. Her nose has receded and, left, and her left eye is punctured. In its place, multiple insect-like eyes have emerged. Upon her pale back, a pattern resembling the markings found on a silkworm has, on a silkworm has taken form. Nowadays, unless accompanied by Miss Kinu, I dare not approach Miss Ayano. I should never venture in alone. She would undoubtedly tear me apart. February 11th, 19... Oh, wait, there's a huge step here. Three years. Miss Kinu told me sometimes my sister experiences stomach cramps. I conducted an examination and no noticed movement within her abdomen. Ever since Miss Ayano's return, I had noticed a gradual swelling of her abdomen. Initially, I attributed it to ascites caused by malnutrition. But, in my but to my shock, it appears that she is pregnant. If she is indeed pregnant, it has been so for six years. December 23rd. Nine years have passed since that fateful day. How much longer can I maintain my sanity? My dear friend Kiyube has vanished without a trace. Tonight, aided by Miss Kino, we will extract the child from Miss Ayano's stomach. Her body has undergone too many transformations over the past nine years. She is incapable of giving birth. With no, We have no alternative but to surgically open her abdomen and remove the child, a cesarean section. My body trembles in fear. I wonder if the child will bear any semblance of a human. The truth is, it will not be born of a human. Damn. All right, then. That was, uh... <laughs> that was a lot of important information right there. So that that's the monster we've been running from. It's a Yano. Uh, oh, boy. It's, the, it's this game again. I already did this one. I don't know if it matters which one you win. This one was way easier. I guess we could play it a few times. Let's see. Um, we have seven coins. We got this. Boom. Just all the way. This one is like slightly. This one until there. I'm insane with it. This one until here. And then it goes green. Look at this. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, well. <laughs> maybe we will fail, but we'll try. Boom. It's hard, man. Kind of. I need to go. It's like so precise. There we go. Okay, this one, like over here. Yes. I don't even know what to do here. No, dude, that was so crazy. I went in sicko mode and then I lost. Okay, this one. I kind of just want to hit it. Like, I don't want to skip to green. It's too risky. But it's so hard to hit it just soft enough. I can also shake the machine. I have to remember. Yes. No, just slightly too low. Come on, he's got it. Fuck me, man. Don't go too fast. Yes. Just do this one every time. Yes. Okay. So, slightly further. Nice. Okay. And this one is hard as fuck. So, that one was too high. So, we'll do this. Dude, that was still too high, you piece. hard come on let's fuck 
fucking game, man. That was almost. Please. No, I shouldn't have shoot. What did I step into? This is the this is the game. Welcome to the game. As they say. When is fucking nightmare mode for Death Signal coming out, man? That's been so long. You uh, okay, last coin. Here we go. This is impossible. Hey, I tried. They made this game hard as hell. Okay, just go slowly increase it until it just edges over. That was just slight. It's so insane how, like, I did the literally was going millimeter by millimeter on the damaged parts, and it went from nothing to fucking full on to the back. It's so random. There's like a random velocity to it. You can't just like do the same thing every time. All right. Well, anyway, um, I'm assuming that is gonna be important in some way, but we already got. We won the game twice, and we found another one around the building. Uh, you don't own this map. Okay, then. What is this? No items. The dresser drawer is locked. There's a peony. Peony? What is it? What is a peony? Is that a flower? Uh, story of the trick box. Father, father gave us a tricky trick box. It is a flower. He said it's a rare toy. He told us that it was a box that would only open when turned in a specific order. Ayana was worried about forgetting the sequence, so we created a secret story together to remember it. Once upon a time, there lived a nice old man. He found a myster mysterious boat in the mountains. Inside the boat, there was a princess. The old man cared for the princess, but she caught a disease and passed away. The princess's body turned into a pure white silkworm, the silkworm continued to spin its thread until it became a large cocoon. Okay, so that's the st so old man, boat, princess, disease, silkworm, cocoon. It's gotta be another fucking coin. Oh, no, more heals. I mean, how many heals? We got 10 heals. We can use one so we don't have the blood on the screen. Because it might be a bit before she shows up again. Or it might be immediate. Who knows? Uh, I don't think these places make much sense. There's a red talisman. Ah, secret path. What the fuck is happening here? Oh, okay then. That's the spooky zone. この札を見ていると気分が悪くなる。There's a crane carved into the log. Okay, so we're gonna have to come back here. That's strange. That's a lot of charms. Yeah, so I'm probably also, because I'm like from the blood of a demon or something, right? Like we are an ascendant from, or descendant, I should say. From the demon person. We need more keys. Keys freaking everywhere. That's a hiding spot, I assume. Yes, it is. Yeah, we find more coins. We can play that game again. How did I win it twice so quickly? That was insane. Miyama Mansion. Outhouse. Okay, we have the map. That's not too many rooms. Nice. Oh. Uh, wait, what? Oh, thank you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, she did not move. <laughs> she was still there. Oh, that's so stupid. Okay, this is the old man. The thingy. Uh, wait, you can... Or you can lean and then it puts your flash in the other hand. Okay. Uh, let's do right wall strats. Ayano's room. That seems quite important. Wait, so we need the mirrors here, right? There's like nothing here. So Kina's room, Ayano's room. Okay. Uh, detached Tommy room. What is the detached Tammy room? So, is there anything outside? There is a pan. Mountain grape mirror. An old copper copper mirror has mountain grape themed decoration. Okay. There's another freaking coin, dude. So we go. We already checked this. Wasn't there any. We can't open that. We have one of the mirrors. That leads... Do we have to go back? 
But the monster's right fucking there. That's annoying. Or we have to, like, solve this puzzle somehow. But we don't have anything. This doesn't do anything on the puzzle. Uh, so I guess we go to the... Put the mirror in place and see if something happens. Which one of these? So there's a peony and this is... Oh. Oh, that just closes the door. Uh, mountain grapes? Yes. Okay, what does that do? Do we have need to have both before it does anything? Oh. oh. No, we don't. September 23rd, 1968. Yui has died. The daughter. Uh, AG informed me she threw herself in... Oh, that's the, that's our mother. AG informed me she threw herself into the railroad tracks two evenings ago. I knew this would happen. There were... So that's the September 21st when they... When she went to look for... Or when she went to Grandma's house. Uh, Grandma being Kinu. This person. Uh, I think. I, I knew this would happen. There was no way Yui, who, who bore such a striking resemblance to my frail sister, could bear it. There was no way she could. On that day, Yui came to see me alone. She was all dressed up, not unlike my Am I the demon, by the way? Am I the demon child that came out of the demon's belly? Is that what's going on here? Is that the plot twist? She was all dressed up, not unlike my sister would be. My feelings of disdain came, ru disdain came rushing back. She was a spitting image of Ayano, who I both loved and despised. Yui is a mere imitation of her. Yui had the same face and voice as my sister. Why do you hate me? She asked. Since she wanted to know that badly, I escorted her to the dungeon and showed her the truth. You are not my child, nor are... Yeah, probably Yui, but I don't know. Uh, you are not my child, nor are you Saichi's. You were cut from the womb of that abomination. Okay, so Yui was the monster baby. Uh, it is in the nature of a monster to crave blood. Out of pity, Saichi lied and said your bloodlust was from him. For many years, against his will, he had to choke down blood alongside you, a monster child. What the fuck? <laughs> Finally, seeing the truth, Yui turned speechless. She didn't scream. She didn't cry. She just stood there. I don't know what Yui did thereafter. I do not care about what happened to her. What the fuck? That's Kawasan. disgusting. Okay. Ja, Ah, we have the trick box. The six sides have the following words. Oh, okay, okay. It makes a sound when shaken, as if there's something inside. Can we use that, or do we place that on the on the checkerboard? So we start with old man, right? Uh, place the box. Yes, old man. Then we need to roll it in a specific way. Okay, so... Can I check the box? Cocoon. Okay, what was the old man boat, right? So, because they went, they went on a boat, so I need to roll it upwards. Okay. Upwards. Then, can I check it every time? Wait, that was silkworm. Oh, I need to... Wait. There, boat. It needs to be the one that's up. Then we have... I don't know. The... There was on the prince... So, I need to roll it to the... This side. Princess. Uh, disease. Which means I need to roll it downwards. Uh... Silkworm cocoon. Silkworm, so I need to roll it this way. I need to roll it down. He's insane. Let's go. That was cool. I would that even work though. Golden key, a golden key hidden in the trick box. Okay. Um do we need a key? There's a save point. Uh I don't know if there's gonna be a punishment for saving. Probably oh this one, yeah. Easy. Which is the other mirror, I understand. I thought I had to have both at the same time, but not at all. It is your mirror. Let's go. Ayano's Journal, November 21st. Oh, the music. 1929. Kinu looked so sad and resentful. She said, Ayano, you are like a butterfly. This left me speechless. All I could do was hold back my tears. It pains me to see Kinu suffer because of me. All I want is for Kinu to be happy. But I am not a butterfly. I am mo more like a silkworm. I was given a mulberry tree in a warm silkworm room. I never needed to leave and always had someone to care for me. My body dissolved within the cocoon and I dreamed without ever being able to fly. I merely cling to life. 
But so long as Kinu is by my side, I am content. Considering Kinu's feeling, maybe it's better I leave this silkworm room. If I disappeared, Kinu could be with Saichi. Yet, I can't bring myself to leave. My marriage with Saichi is approaching. And the more I realize how little time we have left, the more I cherish my time with Kinu. I know that what happiness to silkworm... I know what happens to silkworms once they leave the silkworm room. That is what I am afraid of. If it were up to me, I would remain by her side forever. Dude, that's some strong music. Crane key, which was down into the creepy ass room. Uh, I should probably save before I do that, because this sounds pretty damn important what's going on here, huh? Um, which, the save point was back here, right? This is... Wait, I'm lost. Where's the save point? Saving room. Dressing room probably has it. Oh, wait. Oh, we also need to play that game before we leave. Uh, wait, I'm s where the fuck is this thing? There it is. Okay, save the game. Boom, we'll save it there. And then we... I don't know if this is gonna lead to an ending, but it kind of feels like it. Because the music is getting real emotional. So we're gonna play this game with the last remaining two coins. It's gonna be the most dramatic game you've ever played. Bo oh. Don't stop the music, I was just... Okay, I needed that inspiration, dude. I'm not gonna be able to do this now. Okay, so we do this. It's like barely anything. This is barely anything. Slightly further. Okay, there we go. That actually worked. This. Nice. Okay, come on. One final time. So that was too far, so we go slightly less far. Dude, you piece of crap. Okay, one more. The final... Final coin. The one to... Oh, fuck. All right, well, never mind then. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. Okay, open the the insane door, which was over here. Dude, that game is hard as fuck. Hey, at least I won it twice, which is more than I would have ever expected. Uh, assuming we... This was the crane key, right? I tried the system or do like a system for it as well. I already just saved. I'm fine. All right, here we go. Baby, hi. We're going, but yet deeper. We've already seen the dungeon, though, right? This. She's not attacking me anymore. All these. Do you still have this key? Ayano scribblings. Kinu abandoned me. Kinu was crying. Kinu hates me and loves Sai Saichi. I don't want Kinu to cry. I want death. She is too pure. I cry and she hugs me. She shoots threads and we form cocoons together. In the cocoon, we dissolve and merge together as one. I am being lost. I stop being me. I forget many things. Her memories replace mine. She keeps... She keep eating me. I so thirsty. Give me water. Blood red water. Why old man outside standing there? Ayano, he cries. Who is Ayano? I think it me. Why is it talking like Yoda? <laughs> I think it me. Old man, enter cell. He stroke my- This sounds like one of those, like, green text fucking memes from Fortune. <laughs> Old man, enter cell. He stroke my head and cry. Kinu laughed and said, Bon, a bon appetit. Kinu, give me tasty water. She called me with gentle voice. I happy. Kinu is precious. <laughs> Kinu, my precious. <laughs> save me, save me. I'm scared, I'm scared. I forget Kinu. She ate almost all of me. Who am I? Who do, where do I begin? Please do not eat memories of Kinu. Before I forget Kinu, kill me. Okay, so she forgot everything, I see. Uh, I guess I will be saving. Let's... Oh, that was pretty effective. That was a cool one. What is this? Oh, but we can still save? What? That's interesting. Okay. Uh, what? Don't do that. That's a lot of blood. 
Oh, what the fuck? I meant to just read it. I didn't realize it was going to be important, but we saved just a moment ago. Kinu's will. Ayana was constantly vomiting blood. She has since stopped moving. She drank the blood I had prepared for her, knowing I had poisoned it. I had no other choice. I was sick and dying. Soon I would be sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> My frail arms were withered like a dead tree branch. This was the only thing I could do. Once I'm gone, who will care for my sister? Who will bathe her, trim her nails, and brush her hair every day? How will society treat her? They will look at her with fear and morbid curiosity and call her a crazy monster. She will be treated as subhuman. I cannot subject my sister to this fate. My greatest fear was forgetting my sister. My sickness grows and mem my memories are fading. Each night I lay down with an unbearable headache. This anxiety crushes my soul. The nagging question of if I will even remember her next her the next morning i was killed i killed everyone my father shaichi yui and even my sister i was left alone with a noose i am dying in pain i apologize i know how my sister really felt but i treated her poorly out of envy despite knowing how vile it was i admired everything about her this is why i despise her my sister was the only one who truly understood me despite knowing how cruel and merciless i could be Yet still, Ayano cared for more for me more than anyone else. When the sun set, she would light up the house for me. She did so to prevent me from falling. My eyes and legs are old and weak. She would always gently massage my wrinkled, cold hands. Her mind is almost completely void of memories. Yet she never forget about me. That is enough. We found happiness in our own way. We knew all the things come to an end. Forgive me, as this was the only way to save my sister. I do not know what happened to her on that day. I do not know who she, who the she she writes about is, but I like her. Also wish to dissolve, also wish to dissolve in a cocoon and become one with my sister. Feels bad, man. Oh my god. Hi. Um. Uh, can I debate it? Can I debate her in the? What is happening? What am I supposed to do? Oh, there! Do it! The rope is attached to the stake, extends to the ceiling. Perhaps a strong enough force could break it. Uh, like what? <laughs> ah, shit, peas, garbage, crap. What am I doing? Okay. Uh, the rope is attached to the ceiling. Pick up a rock, dude! Get a rock! Any rocks? There's so many. Do I even have anything? Do I. Was I supposed to have a rock before getting here? Is that what's going on here? Don't I have anything? Um, I feel like I'm missing something. Bait her. Oh, I need to crush her with a boulder. What do I click? What if I click on this? Oh! Aha! Wait, what? The ceiling rock is supported by a rope. It looks like it's tied to a plank. What is happening? Put it again. Am I able to? How am I? I'm good. So what the fuck? I thought I got hit. Uh, kick something? Kick anything. What am I doing? Uh, help. Rope attached to the sense of the sink. Grabs a strong enough force to break it. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm so lost. There's like nothing here. This thing? Pull it again! Yes, okay. I thought I... Okay, you have to pull it several times. Okay, here we go. Dodge! Get dodge. Pull it again! She's gonna swing. Get juked. Pull it! Stop it, stop it, stop it. Can I bait her? Dude, you were supposed to be baited! Wait, did she... What if I can make her break this? Oh, let's go! Okay, I see, I see. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Break it. Run! Break it. Oh, fuck. Ah, fuck. I have so many heals, though. This is fine. Let's go. Okay. Come here. Come here, bitch. Do your jump, jump attack. You didn't hit it. Okay. I need you to do your jump attack again, lady. Or did you already break this one? Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. Do it. Why do you keep fucking running like that, you bitch? Did I break it enough? There. Nice. 
nice. Okay. One more. Ah, oh, fuck. Won't you piece of shit. Get another one. Luckily, I have so many pills. Okay, make your jump. Get you. Don't get you. Okay, that's fine. Now you do your thing. Is she gonna even jump? Yes. Let's go! Uh, now, looks like the rock could fall at any moment. Oh, so it's a uh, freaking. We have to end both of us. Because I'm gonna get our. Go right where I need you to be. Don't stand under it, you idiot! You dumb, you dumb, dumb. <laughs> I killed her though. Was that good? Should I not have done that? Was there any other choice? She saved them? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Was that on purpose? Or was that just because she was trying to kill me? Oh. Hi. Oh, here's gonna be choices. Or maybe? Poor lady. Oh my god. <laughs> Boink. Ah, oh, you peas. Okay. Why would sparing her here would almost be more would almost be fucked up, honestly. Like cause she's just gonna be stuck under this rock forever, right? We gotta kill her. Sparing her would just get her stuck forever. It's your mom? Uh, I mean, we can do both. Because we can just go back here. Oh, this sucks. Uh, I mean, sparing her, she would just be stuck forever. We're gonna end her misery. Let's do that first. And then we can always do the other one if this one doesn't lead to a satisfying conclusion. Oh, boy. We didn't see it. They, they YouTube did. They made a YouTube save. One year later. Okay, let's see it. That's all, I assume. Wasn't that grave already there? Kim-san, あの俺は綾野さんを殺してしまった。そう。そう思っていたのに。綾野さんは消えていたんだ。そう。そう思っていたのに。綾野さんは消えていたんだ。そう。そう思っていたのに。綾野さんは消えていたんだ。そう。そう思
俺の中にどんな血が混じっていてもそれでも俺は人として生きるよ<笑> so epic. 綾のばあちゃん Let's go I mean are you gonna drink blood then? He's very I mean I guess he's normal thirsty I'm assuming that's the end I wonder what the other thing would have done We should try that real quick See the other ending This is a very cool game. Very a lot of reading, but I don't mind that personally. Uh, the there we go. Hollow cocoon. Okay, I'm gonna skip because I want to see the other ending and what that does. Uh, congratulations on completing the game. See the human ending. We got the human ending. Uh, you've unlocked the shop and bonus content. You can access them from the main menu. Note this bonus content is only accessible from the pause menu. Okay. You now have unlocked nightmare difficulty, the hardest difficulty. Oh boy, no thank you. And we we can roll back our save, right? I assume. Um let's see, load game. Okay, we'll load back this save quickly do the boss fight and see what happens with the other one. Can we just do we have to do the whole boss fight again or do we get loaded into the end cutscene? The final choice. <sighs> What's happening? Oh, nice! We just get to literally do the choice. We don't even have to do the boss fight again. Okay, that's amazing. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. So we just get to immediately. That's such a that's good stuff right there. I hate it when games make you replay a ton of stuff to get other endings. I appreciate it when they just have a good save point. All right, we're not gonna do the kill this time. When because that felt like the. If I would leave her here, that feels like she would turn into a cocoon. Killing her would end the cycle. Or like, I mean, it's not really a cycle. Okay, so we're gonna spare her this time. How does this change us? Change. I am the what? Okay. Gonna be an entirely new ending or just slight changes? Yep. あ、どうやら立ち消えになりそうだし。あ、See, I took I chose the right ending. So this is the monster ending. Oh god, yep, definitely worse. <laughs> we become the monster. Or we accept our monster part or whatever. Oh. あたたかいうちに食べて。どう焼きばき。また泣いているの。キヌさんはもう死んでしまったんだよ。大丈夫。何の心配もいらないさ。これからは俺がばあちゃんとずっと。That was so much worse. <laughs> the other ending was definitely better. <laughs> yeah, definitely the other ending. You guys wanted me to spare her, huh? That ending was... Okay, wait, I didn't get an achievement for that? Or I get an achievement once I skip? Interesting. Wait, so there are under other endings, I've been told? I would love to look those up. See, the Descendant of a Xenomorph ending. Okay, so let's let's quickly see. I'm going to look up on YouTube what the other endings are, because I'm curious now how they're going to do that. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> YouTube, show me the money. 
Uh, hollow cocoon, hollow cocoon. Uh, all endings, no commentary. More endings. Hollow cocoon. Good plus bad ending. All endings. Here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. <clears throat> is this the right one? Oh, this is actually. Wait. Okay, so uh, Lord Datus Gaming here has made a video uh, summarizing all the endings. Let's see. So we got boss fight. We did that. We got the kill ending, the human ending. We did the Descendant of Xenomorph ending, but apparently there's two short secret endings here, so I'm curious. Uh, let's see. Give cocoon. Okay, so you needed to have the cocoon then? Where would you have gotten that? I don't know where you would have gotten that, but okay. Let's see. So you give a cocoon, which is like a separate ending if you did something along the way. What the fuck is this? How did you get a ball of fire, dude? <laughs> Oh, you have to beat Nightmare Mode, probably, or something like that. So this is actually like Lift the Curse, maybe? Maybe by beating the coin machine too many times? Dude, imagine. Oh, the butterfly key! Yeah, we never opened the butterfly key, you're right. Okay, we literally healed her, that's cool. Let's go. Interesting. Uh-oh. What the fuck? Excuse me? Wait, there's something secret there. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? This is the hiding spot. There's a UFO ending. What the fuck is this? Okay, so that's the cocoon. What? So the cocoon ending, you give her a cocoon, but she still becomes a demon anyway? What the hell is that? What is this? Is that poop? UFO ending? What the fuck is gonna happen in the Hershey's Kiss? Uh, excuse me. This must be like a joke ending, right? Oh, there's some freaking crop circles. <laughs> the UFO button. Excuse me. <laughs> Alien ending, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on, dude? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, this is fucking ridiculous. Ah, she's gonna add to, she's waving. Oh man, okay, I see. That is ridiculous. <laughs> the insanity ending. Oh yeah, there we go. Alrighty, nice. Okay, so that was, so there was one extra ending, normal ending where you give her the cocoon, which you probably got from the butterfly door. I don't know how you would have gotten the butterfly key, but yeah. And then the last one is uh, like a joke uh, UFO ending. But yeah, very cool game. I, I very much enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. Um, uh, was a lot of names to keep track of, but honestly, it felt pretty doable. There were like a few important names and you like just needed to remember that like there was a grandparent, there was like a grand grandparent, grandparents, mo mother, and it was relatively easy to follow and I, I like games that are not too plot twisty they're not like oh my god you were the monster all along or like it's just like a complete 180 at the end so it feels like everything you've been reading up till that point is just kind of pointless uh so yeah i appreciated that and the game definitely lived up to what i expected from the demo the demo was great the graphics were awesome uh monster i was playing on normal so the monster was relatively easy to avoid probably if you play on nightmare mode or higher it's gonna be way more difficult you have to be more stealthy but i had a lot of fun just running around and looping the oni or demon or whatever uh that was that's right what I, <laughs> you know me i loop everything but anyway thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed that if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it just like it and if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash it's the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye dude we did that that's so fast
the devs said like if you're really fast you can beat this game in three hours go watch me baby watch me go all right we're playing another game though i i have prepared for this moment oh the shop and bonus content i'm assuming it's i guess we could quickly check um i'm a, oh god it launched in vr please don't do that why would you do this to me don't tell me my audio is going to be fucked up now is my mic fucked up please no oh, i think it's fine uh let's see let's quickly launch this over playing another game but let's quickly launch this game to see if there's bonus content i don't know why so many indie games launch in steam vr for some reason uh because maybe it'll be something special <clears throat> Let's see bonus content bonus content you can i oh you can use items for oh this is where you probably spend those coins is that what what the fuck is this oh you can customize her what the fuck you can turn off the head shop oh at the shop you can exchange winning tickets for points which can be used to purchase items the items available will have various effects such as altering enemy appearances or unlocking additional endings okay there you go so you need ah, i see exchange winning tickets for points winning ticket red is 20 points points obtained 30. okay wait we can what the fuck we could give her cat ears <laughs> what the fuck is this we can give her slippers we can give her glasses <laughs> what is this? This is insanity. Color red. We can give her alien antenna. But wait, so is this how I unlock? Oh, that's how you unlock. What the actual fuck? You can make her into an eyeball. You can make different background music. You can have voice. Enemy takes on an alien voice. A cat voice. So I assume. Oh, the tinfoil hat one unlocks the other ending. I see. So this unlocks the uh secret ending oh you can get infinite 10 yen so you can just like get a bunch of points uh okay so yeah i see that's how you would have gotten a key item for the extra ending oh and you would have had to buy the butterfly key so i literally would have had to play okay so i could have purchased these and then done oh okay so i didn't miss anything so it was literally just purchasable from the store so a key item for the extra ending and a tinfoil hat was also for the extra ending and then everything else the fucking pink hair dude it's just meme items okay so i see handcuffs <laughs> what the fuck demon eyes this one is ridiculous dude i love that all right anyway so that's cool yeah the, 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 great that we checked that at the end there okay uh now we hop into the next game this is such a cool game i like games that don't really overstay their welcome and they're just like a neat like three two three hours or something uh, i'm gonna play this in english right here if you don't mind this game is called amber skull it is a like a four short horror games i think that are like uh four short stories basically just in one game so we're playing all of them i'll keep it max it seems kind of quiet uh shift and interact i can do that <clears throat> Amber Skull. Warning. You are alone in this experience. It can be very difficult and require your full focus. It will contain flashing and disturbing images and sudden loud noises. Are you sure you want to play? Yes, thank you. Oh, here we go. Fuck. I'm doing hi. What the hell is this menu screen? Okay, let's see. We do support. I don't think I need to do much. What the fuck is this, dude? Excuse me? Uh, Steam VR failed. Yeah, I don't... I'm not playing this on VR. Why are you even... What is happening, brother? What? So you can play this game with VR, apparently. But I don't know why the Steam VR version... Yes, close that. Hopefully it's not gonna break. Because every time I close Steam VR, it started fucking with my microphone and stuff. Hopefully my mic is fine still. Um, let's try that again. Please no VR. I'm all alone now. Okay, can this not run in VR, please? Okay, here we go. Let's see. I mean, I'm kind of... What the fuck? How do I do this? Oh, here. These are the four different games. Wait, that's the Phasmo font, dude. <laughs> Abandoned is the Phasmo font. All right, we're going to start left, and we're just going to go through them. So the first story is called Blizzard. Let's check it out. Put it in, baby. Prepare to hide, it said. Uh-oh. Jesus. Uh, what? 
What the hell? I'm stuck. I've been here for years. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm on the North Pole. What the fuck? This is intense. Can I quickly pause? Oh, fuck. I wanted to quickly turn down the audio slightly because it's loud as hell. Turn it down to that. <clears throat> Can I... Oh, I have to start? Okay, so escape starts you over from the beginning. Oh, come on! Stop launching into Steam VR, you dummy! Okay, I'm just gonna click this closed. Hopefully that didn't break anything. And then I'm gonna launch it again. Don't launch Steam VR, you dickhead. Oh my god, you piece of crap. Close. It did? It's fucked up now? It did make- Why does closing Steam VR break my microphone? That is so annoying. I think I can't fix that at all. I think there's, I have to, wait, how do I fix this? Crackly mic? Yeah, I, 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 like my audio is also gonna be fucked up. Okay, um, what a weird bug for my for my computer. When I close Steam VR, it bugs my microphone. Let me try and fix this. Um, this one. That's, it's still gonna be fucked up. Can I? Because I, it doesn't sound fucked up for me at all. What the hell, dude? Okay. I restarted the program. Uh, but it's still, I can test it again. It's still probably fucked up. Uh, let's see. Just gonna. What the hell? Here, Jacksepticeye like played Exit 8. I'm gonna listen to this real Welcome quick. Welcome to the Exit 8! I can't even hear that at all. I can't even hear that. My whole m sound is fucked. Unplug and replug? Yeah, but that doesn't... I can turn it off and on again. Tried to. I restarted it now, but I don't know if that did anything. It's it didn't not do anything. What the fuck? What a s insanely strange bug. What if I just launch Steam VR again? That do anything? What a s insanely weird bug. So I can turn off and on my computer, obviously. So now I launched Steam VR again. Now it's good. Wait, what? So I have Steam VR has to be running in the background or it doesn't work. What an insanely weird bug, dude. Why? <laughs> what the hell is that? That's so dumb. Okay, but then the game doesn't work because the game launches in VR and then it keeps crashing. What if I literally turn on my VR headset? Wait, what if I just close Steam VR the proper the proper way without like forcefully closing it? Here, stop Steam VR. Does this even work? Can I uninstall it? That's that's genuinely FNAF Help Wanted 2's fault because I would I only fucking plugged in my VR headset. It's still fine. What if I unplug my? Because it's not even turned on at all. Like it's I'm gonna unplug this real quick. There we go. It's fully unplugged now. Um, but it's still- I still can't close this shit. Like, my Steam VR is just running, and I cannot close it. Reset headset. Restarting Steam VR. Oh, no. Is it fucked again? It's probably fucked again, right? No bad again? Now it's- now it's good again. Now it's better. It was fine. It was for, for a second, and now it's fine because Steam VR just. Re what the fuck? Why does Steam VR have to run in the background? But now the problem is that when I play this game, it's gonna constantly be like crashing because Steam VR. Why is this a VR game, brother? I don't. I'm not playing it in VR. Add no HMD. Okay. Wait. 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 You're you're being a hero right now. Alt there for this fucking. Okay. Um. Properties, launch options, no HMD. Yes, let's try that. 
Did we do it? Did we fix it? The game should show up. There we go. Okay, is it gonna crash? That's the question. We'll see. <clears throat> let's just go. Let's just continue. Let's see how it goes. We did it. Here we go. Prepare to hide. So this is four short stories. We got Blizzard, The Forest, Ocean, and Abandoned using the Phasmo font. Um, and we'll start with this one. Oh, God. Jesus! Excuse me. That's loud as hell. I'm stuck. Get me out of here. I was stuck in there for a hundred. Okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it. I'm gonna lower the volume again because that's fucking loud as hell. What is this bunk? Ten. There's eyeballs. Oh god. No. Why? Game. Steam VR initialization failed. Steam VR failed to initialize initialize with error code. Blah 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 blah. Uh, how do I? How to prevent game from launching in Steam VR? It says no HMD, but it doesn't do anything. Dude! It didn't... I typed it. No HMD. Launch option. Defense users may choose to enter modifications to their launch. And then I did no HMD, but it didn't do anything. <clears throat> what the hell? Why would it even do that when I'm already... You know what? We can solve this by plugging back in my VR and turning it on... And then fucking just, like, making the game, like, sniff the copium that we're playing it in VR. Let's do that. One sec. I have to play, go, like, on my table, dude. I can't see shit. I need my phone. There we go. It's turned on, baby. Ugh. Jesus. Okay, let's see. So you're not... My audio is going to be messed up because it's going to be like, Oh, new audio device. Let me change everything you've ever used to this new audio device because... Fuck you and your setup. Is that a thing you can change? You can probably change that in Windows somewhere. Why is that a thing? Why, whenever you plug in a new device, whenever you plug in your controller, it goes, Ooh, you want all your audio to come to the controller that doesn't even have speakers? Let's go! Stupid freaking shit. Controller not detected. I don't care. Alright, let's try again. <clears throat> you can disable that. Speaker. Oh, okay. Uh, I. Oh, it's working. <laughs> Is it gonna crash though? That's the question. Oh my god, what is this fucking lag, brother? Holy shit! Is it because it's attached in VR? There's nothing to see here! PowerPoint gameplay, brother. Oh, no, it's still fucked. What? Support. What is this about? Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to look like that. Okay, uh, graphics. Maybe we gotta go low on that one. Oh, that doesn't even fuck fucking fix it, dude. Full screen, maybe. Oh, that doesn't do anything either. Just unplayable. Holy shit. Okay, so if I close Steam VR, everything bugs out. Dude, what the fuck? I just want to play the game. Actually, like genuinely unplayable. Is it in VR? Like, is this a VR game? Or did they just fuck up with their settings? It's not even a VR game! That's the worst part! You can't even play this in VR if you want to! 
Why would it do this? <laughs> Why would it require VR? To... If I uninstall Steam VR, it's just gonna... Like, if I uninstall this, it's gonna do the thing with my mic again. We can try it. We'll try it, but it's gonna... Un... It's gonna fuck. Fucking break again. What is going on, brother? Okay. Uh, quit. If I click quit here... It's got, it sounds fucked again, right? Let me let me just make sure it is fucked, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Why? Why do I have to have Steam VR running for my microphone not to sound all crispy and stuff? Try no Steam VR, no dashboard. Um Alright, so now it's fixed again because I put it I turn it back on. This doesn't make any fucking sense. I'm trying to... What was it? No Steam VR. No dashboard. Um, okay. Play again. Dude, I think it's broken again. Why would it even... It doesn't even play the sound. It's playing the sound through my... Hits it again. The fuck? Dude, your game doesn't function. I've already gotten six minutes of playtime. I haven't even played it. There we go. Okay. But the, th the thing is that the... Why would this make the graphics so fucked? Like, we literally fixed the problem, but the game is like, how about you poop your pants right? What if we just plug it in? What if we just start the game? Maybe it's just a menu that's... First. Uh, maybe? It's fucking framey as shit, dude. Why? That is insanely weird. It's likely a driver issue? No, it's just an issue that this game uses to- What even is this? I'm pressing escape and it just keeps me fucking looping in eternity. What is this? This game is insane. A one FPS game. I wish I could turn off my Steam VR, but I just cannot do that because it breaks everything. Um. So how? Manage. Maybe I just reinstall the game. That's not gonna help. Properties. So I tried everything there. Verify the integrity of game files. Maybe it's just fucked. Maybe there's something went wrong in this game. Isn't this game old as well? Oh, it's verified. Oh, one thing went wrong. It verified one file. Oh, no, that didn't help anything. So we have to, so the, we're like in a conundrum here. Because in order for this game to run, we have to turn off this. We have to turn off the headset. Headset disconnected. Okay, that's fine. But then it's still fucked. This is still gonna be no FPS. Dude, wh this is actually the strangest problem I've ever had in the game. I've played a thousand plus random indie horror games in my life. I have never seen this problem ever. This is so strange. I've seen a lot of games start with Steam VR for no reason, but I've never had it just break down. Let me restart this. Maybe V-Sync? Maybe, well, I don't know, let's see. No, I don't think that's gonna help. Is there even V-Sync option? I can't see. The, there, graphics. There's no V-Sync option. Uh, what? Oh no, it's fucking closed the thing. No, Mike is crispy again. Why did it close the VR? I'm crispy. I'm all crispy, boys. You like them crispy? Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. We tried. Crispy. So, yeah, it's so funny because the game gets smooth when I do that. Wait, it didn't launch with Steam VR this time. Wait. 
Wait, wait, I got an insane ma I got to play here. So we launched a game without Steam VR. Now we launch Steam VR to fix the mic. So now the game is running fine. Wait, wait, I actually am an insane genius. I launched a game before I launched Steam VR. Now it's working. Now the question is, does it run? It's running now. Did we actually fix it? <laughs> Are you serious? Let's see. Hope it runs. Please run. I'm actually, this is my last try. I don't know what else to do. Okay. What is going on here? I'm in the middle of nowhere. Uh, oh boy. Oh no. There's a monster out there. Is that me? That's far away from me. What do we got? It's a tiny light. Can I interact with any of this? I got a big red button. Oh. No! Dude, what the fuck? Why would you make your game use Steam VR when it's not even a VR game? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Amber Skull, please. What the fuck? All right, well, rest in peace that game. Maybe one day we'll return to it when it functions. But hey, uh, I think uh, that we're gonna have to take a break from that because I think I need to restart my computer in order to fix that. It's unfortunate, but hey, it's fine. Tomorrow we'll be back uh, and I will see you guys around. Thank you so much for hanging out today. Uh, I wish I could play that game, but it just doesn't work. <laughs> I tried literally everything. We tried so many different solutions, didn't work. So we're gonna call it here and we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube right now, I appreciate you stopping by today and I will link you the video. So in 20 minutes, I'm uploading a video. Uh, what the hell? Wait, what? Are, no! Dude, they're the, the purge, the YouTube purge has begun. They have started to crack down. What is this? I was watching IGP this morning um, and I saw that his lethal company video got age restricted and I was like, what the hell? I've uploaded, I don't even know, 30 videos of, of Lethal Company, and I haven't had a single video gotten age-restricted. But lo and behold, my first video just got age-restricted. <laughs> Why? This game is like the least freaking, like there's, it's just freaking cartoon characters running around getting slapstick comedy killed. It's like the least age-restrictable game of all time. If you're gonna age-restrict that horror game, like nothing is safe. Um, anyway. Uh, with that out of the way, we're gonna upload- You know what? I gotta- I gotta- I can make it up to you guys. Uh, we're gonna upload another indie game, so we can just pretend that I played this game right now, instead of, uh, instead of that game that we couldn't get to play. So if you wanna check this out, uh, you can check it out over here. Literally just click the publish button, so you will be the first to ever po post a comment on the YouTube video if you click this link right here. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out over on YouTube. I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you so much. I'll see you around. Have a good one.